All right, and I do believe that we are now live. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to Glace. Now, Glace, as many of you may or may not know, is a little indie platformer game that I played growing up as a kid. It was one of my favorite games of all time to play. And uh, basically, well, I'm not going to spoil the story or anything for you. It's a game that was made in 2004 by a guy called Tommy Visick, who made it when he was in college. It's a really cool game. Uh, did not work on any operating system longer, or excuse me, newer than Windows XP for the longest time until some members of the Glace community figured out how to get it working on modern operating systems. So we're going to be playing it and checking it out today. Going to be doing a full series on it. Kind of a little bit of a throwback to something I used to play as a kid. And it's going to be super fun. So I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I'm sure I will. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Wow, we already have five likes starting off. Thank you guys so much. But welcome to the stream, everybody. Welcome, Steve. Go home. Welcome, Chicken Lord. Welcome, Max Cat Jeff. Welcome, Lucas Dubsos. You might notice my display looks kind of weird with the low resolution and the black bars on the side. The reason why is it's an old game that only runs at square resolutions. And in order for OBS to show it properly, I have to put my own... Uh, monitor into a weird resolution. Otherwise, when you start the game, it'll just be a black screen. It'll just be in a little corner of the screen somewhere. And point is, it won't look right. So I have to screw up my desktop so the game looks correct on YouTube. So that's what you got to do when you're working with old games like this. But yeah, thank you everybody again for tuning in. And uh, let's get started with Glaze. Uh, there we go. Exciting stuff, boys. Tommy Visick presents. Good deal. Well, Luco Stubsos, welcome. He says, yo, nice joke, man. What's what's the joke? Also, the game is really wild. I just realized how wild the game was. Okay, let's start over real quick. I'm going to turn the game down a little bit for me. All right. So I need to make sure it's the proper audio going into it. Because if it's not, there is no way to just pause the game, tab out of it, change the audio... Go back in. Too old a game for that. If you tab out of this game, it's going to crash. You have to start the level all over. So I want to make sure everything's all we configured right before we begin. Okay. Good deal. Let's see. That looks, that looks about good. I don't know. Is that too loud? It's like the... Well, there won't be this music in the regular game, so I guess it'll be okay. All right. Just in case, though, let's turn that... Eh, actually, no, that's fine. All right, boys. So... Now go ahead and actually play Blaze. I'm excited to do it. All right, anyway, that is a fun, funky resolution. It is, isn't it? I better see some pro gamer strats from you. You are going to see them today, Chicken Ward. There's going to be nothing but pro strats right up in this little stinker, okay? And I got, here's the thing. Here's the thing, boys. I got my vape pen right here, okay? I got my vape pen. It's got some new stuff in it. This is called HHC. I got some gummy worms if we need those. And I haven't eaten yet today, so I had my buddy Ralph shout out to him. He went by Arby's and got me some sort of Greek sandwich, which I've never tasted before and which I hope isn't garbage. So, uh, your boy got something to eat now. Oh, wow, this looks amazing. Right here, we got Kess Food Reviews. Kess Glace and Kess Food Reviews all at once. This looks like a Subway sandwich. Hell, well, that's gonna be good. Let's not worry about... Oh, it smells amazing. I bumped the mic. I'm sorry about that. Let's not worry about that right now. Let's go ahead and get into some place. So we're going to start. This is where I was making a test. Can I delete this? I can't. Good. Star Wars sound effects, naturally. Let's go ahead and begin. Deep inside their secret laboratory, two scientists conduct experiments late into the night. Press enter to continue. He's going to eat those words. What sandwich is it? I don't know. Some three sandwich from Arby's. I don't know the first thing about it. This time it's going to work. I can feel it, says Dr. Slag. For real, this man, I don't. I think he's supposed to be a slug, which I don't know why his name would be Slag and not Slug. Because he looks like a slug, right? Doesn't he look like some evil slug man? This thing, they got a pretty lit laboratory set up. Got, got your big old computer monitors, got your little laser in a jar. Space, I like it, or nighttime or something. Uh, Dr. Frank is the one on the left, if I remember correctly. Yes, Dr. Frank, it's the same thing you said yesterday. Quiet, Dr. Frank. For eight long years, I've had to deal with your sniveling attitude. Eight years, wow. But today, I believe our experiment will succeed. That's like longer than twice as long as I've been on YouTube. 
when the universe will be mine. You mean ours. The universe will be ours. Yes, yes, that's what I said. Why now? It's time to begin. Adjust the laser to 10,000 volts. Oh, Dr. Frog kind of got a little bit of a waddle to him. Well, he's been eating a lot of this. I think, I think he's had one too many RV sandwiches themselves. 10,000 volts, done. Okay, the gyro, I think it's lamb. Oh, on a rotisserie, that sounds amazing. Max Cat Jeff says, Dr. Frog, you playing Rip Off Chrono Trigger? No, I've never played Chrono Trigger, so I don't know, but no, this is Glace. Activate experiment number 4,286. Good deal. All right, here we go, baby. Everybody, everybody, shh. Moment of truth, let's go. A raindrop with a face. What the? What is that thing? It's another failed experiment. That's what it is. Oh, sad. What do we do with it? We get rid of it, you idiot. Oh, but that's it's so cute, though. Keep it as a little pet. Hinge spots. Ooh. Fancy. Take this failure and send it to the sun to be destroyed with the rest of the trash. Oh, I look so sad. I guess I guess I'm the purple, the purple raindrop trash. Little trash rocket. Yep, just send it to the sun. That's how you get rid of your trash. That would be a really great thing for the environment. No, I'm teasing. Okay. <laughs> Burn some rocket fuel in order to get rid of trash. Oh, uh, that's sad though. That's like so mean. We just went away from the gray planet, which I'm assuming is Jupiter. Oh, here I am. Mm. Got Uranus over there. Got a comet. Here's Earth. This is fun. Ooh. Rocket engine failure. Woo! Going down to Earth. Oh, that does not look like Earth. Unless that's unless Iceland just got like three times its size. Okay. And you get the crust from the rotisserie. Yum. Cats makes fun of his subs, then whips to regret it. Dihar, man. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, Denver. Creature. This could be terrible. Where could they be? Hey, it's Winnie the Pooh! It's Winnie the Pooh. Good deal. Okay. What was that? Except this version actually has pants and shoes. That's the only difference. Apparently got a purse, too. Woo! Oh, man. I look, I look, a, little, I look a little out of it. What is this? What happened? It's your ma. Okay, now. Back it up a little. Where did you come from? Apparently, I'm frightened. What do you mean you don't know? Well, what's your name? I don't know. You don't even know your name? Well, this is all very strange. Well, my name's Essie. Oh, it's not Winnie. I live in this treehouse. Good deal. He looks like a friendly little fella. I'm having a bit of a crisis right now. Someone broke into my house and stole all but one, one people, of the magic beads I've been protecting. The beads are very powerful, so it is very important that I find them quickly. Hey, you wouldn't want to help me, would you? Yeah, man, I'll help you. You would? Great. Oh, well, but uh, we'll need a name for you. Hmm, how about... Glace. Do you like it? He said the name of the game. All right, great. It's nice to meet you, Glace. What a weird name to name something, though. Glace? Like, that's not what I would have thought of. I would have thought of Herbert or Peter or Martha or something like that. There are four magic beads total. One of them is in my house, so we only need to find three more. So somebody either lost or they were stolen or something. I don't remember what he said. I think we should split up. Let's look around and meet back up soon. Thanks, Glace. All right, so we're going to go out and look for uh, Essie's magic beads. Good deal. You know, it's it's been a big day for me. First life, first day in the life of a raindrop. You know, you, you're born, your your parents throw you out with the garbage. And then you meet a bear and help him look for his beads. I mean, that's basically kind of how I grew up, if I'm being honest. We're going to begin the platforming sequence, of course. But uh, first, we have, to, we have to try this sandwich, guys. I'm, your boy Cass is hungry. I know how much you all love me eating on stream, so, you know. Hmm. Hmm. That 
is a very okay sandwich. I cannot complain. All right. Anyway, your mom has her has her ass over there. Oh no, it's very windy at the moment here, so I may or may not have a power on Oh, I hope not. Haha, he said it. Yes, he did, Denver. Welcome to grassy fields. Press up to jump, and the left and right keys to move around. Okay. Good deal. Look at this, boys. Look at this. Isn't it amazing? We can jump. We can get these little yellow electrics out of us. And then we can hit things and bounce off of them. But yeah, I love this game so much as a kid. I mean, just look at the aesthetic. It's beautiful. Waste a very special creature with many special abilities. Now would be the good time to try out the wall bounce ability. Form a wall bounce, simply collide with the wall at a high speed. Waste will bounce and head in the opposite direction. But be careful. Wall bounce will take Waste's energy, the yellow lightning meter, at the top right of the screen. If Waste runs out of energy, he won't be able to perform any special abilities until his energy is back up. Um, don't worry, Waste's energy refills automatically over time. But use the wall bounce to reach the gem on top of that tree. Run to your right as fast as you can and jump right before you collide with the wall. Good deal. So yeah, I think the first stage of this is like almost sort of like a little tutorial stage. If I remember correctly. Good deal. Perfect on the first try, son. <laughs> oh, well, can't talk about eating your words. <laughs> ah, okay, that's embarrassing. Okay, a very okay sandwich bowl. Hey, Steve. I mean, it was good. It's just, you know, it's not like, it's not like, oh my gosh, this is the most amazing food I've ever had. It's, it's, it's okay. It's good. But, you know, it's, 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 it's. I don't know what to tell you guys. It's an okay sandwich. That's it. You know, it's okay. Hmm. Nice work. Collect gems to earn points and unlock special characters from the main menu. Good deal. All right, let's go ahead and go back down here. All right, let's go ahead and grab one of these lovely little dandelions. And we're gonna go back here and hit one of these other little lovely dandelions. Look at that. Did you guys make a wish? You're supposed to make a wish when you blow those out. Hmm. Oh, gee, but he has words. I don't like it stopping you to teach you how to play. That's a Mario type thing to do. Okay. How would you prefer they do it, Chicken? Or what do you think would be a better strategy? Because remember, they're actually remaking this game. Did I mention that Tommy Bissick, the original creator of this game, is remaking it? He's making it into, uh... Yeah, it's a remake. The remake's gonna be called Spirit of Glace. It's on Steam and everything. Go check it out. Now's your name. Welcome. He says, hi ho neighborinos. Welcome, dude. The gyro from Arby's. What is it, Subway? Jarrow from Arby's. Okay, I'm glad Chicken Horde knew what it was. You found out one of you found one of Essie's magic beads. Good, only three more to go. Glace can use this bead to defend himself. Press space bar to try it out. You can also collect gems by hitting them with beads. Right, 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 right. Yeah, this is a this is a weapon. Also, yeah, when you get a certain number of gems, you can unlock different versions of the Glace character from the main menu. So that's pretty cool. Look out! Use your magic bead to get past this meaning. If you get hurt, don't worry. Grace's health will fill back up on its own. Auto heal, basically. Kind of, I feel like, I don't really know. I don't know the time period. Was auto heal a mainstream thing in 2004? Nice. All right, we're gonna go up here. Now the frame rate's a little lower than what I'm used to, but I've never actually played this with OBS on, obviously, so it could be anything, really. Causing that. All right, let's hop up here. Down this way. Uh, I'm gonna have to go back over this way, I think. Boom. Beautiful. Oh, actually, you know what it is? You know what I think it actually is? I think my refresh rate is at 60 instead of 144. I think when I was messing around with the resolution, I messed that up. But that's no big deal. I'll fix that as soon as, uh... I guess as soon as uh, we finish the stage. So this game has auto save, but it only does it by by stage. So you have to finish a stage before it'll load. Otherwise, you have to start all over again. So, but I was, but yeah, I was like, why does the frame rate look weird? Not that it would look any difference to you guys on YouTube, because on YouTube it only shows up to 60 frames per second. But my monitor is 144, and I like I like those frames. KJ1, welcome. He says reminds me of bad ice cream. 
place reminds you of Ben Ice Cream? Do you mean the game or the character? Or both, I mean, could be. Um, teach you through game design, plenty of examples like Mega Man X. Okay. Dipper says this is a way. The first Super Mario Brothers, I understand that I said Mario was a culprit, but it's that's more in the 3D games. Otherwise, this looks awesome. Cool. Well, I'm pretty sure that's all the tutorials there are. I think we passed it already. So, that was more or less it, if I remember. I could be remembering wrong, I'm just saying. But I'm pretty sure that's it. But yeah, no, this is pretty fun. This is a fun little game. And it was really good for, you know, the time period from just one guy making it while he was in college. Like, well, I don't know. Did he have help with this? No, he did. There's a special credit section. Okay, I guess he didn't do it just by himself. Mostly by himself. It was mostly a one-man crew. You know. Okay, we got the signs. If I remember correctly, signs mean the level's almost over. There we go. Yeah, here's Essie. Please, there you are. You found one of my magic beads. That's excellent. You better hold on to the beads you find. You'll need them. Right, we can use them as a weapon. Oh, well, I need two more beads, Grace. Let's take another look around. All right. Guess we're taking another look around. Give me one sec real quick. I'm going to go ahead and fix my monitor. Mm-hmm. Okay. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to change the refresh rate on here. Um, can I not customize this at all? I cannot. That is very disappointing. Uh, by the way, can we just get a screw? <laughs> can we just get a uh, a screw NVIDIA control panel in the chat? Like those, I swear to stink, that software messes me up more than just about anything. Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and continue. I guess I'll just play this at 60 FPS. Won't, won't get any of that 144p goodness, you know? All right, by the way, specials. So we can unlock different versions of Gwaste when we get a certain number of gems. If I remember correctly, you can unlock Cactus Gwaste um, on your first playthrough, but there's not enough gems to unlock any of the other ones without doing multiple playthroughs of this. So this regenerates faster and damages shield. This one throws beads further, bounces higher, and insta bounces. This one stomps enemies and has a jetpack, so obviously I want to unlock that. I only have two gems. Oh no, I have 34 gems. We're on zone two, that's what it is. Oh, the character, okay. Tutorials aren't for you, it's for damn critics. <laughs> IGN can go shove it. IGN can kick my rear side. Side NVIDIA control panel can go shove it. There you go. There you go. All right. So I swear I had set up like a custom resolution for this. It was going to be 640 by 480, 144, right? And then I and then I select the resolution and run it. Ran fine the other day. Just today, just wouldn't run. Just like nah, can't do it. Well, screw you then. Uh, being a little purple blob isn't so bad. Now, oh, I was wrong. There is one more tutorial. Now let's try try the super bounce ability. Jump off the ledge in front of you and hold up as you hit the ground. This will cause Waste to rebound and rocket upwards at high speed. Waste can super bounce to reach places that may seem unreachable at first. Sweet. Woo! Let's go. Get me some dandelion, son. Hit that foo with the, with the bead. Let's go. Hit the dandelion. Good deal. What's up, homie? What's good? Oh, well, I tried. I tried. Nice. We got him. Oh, crap. Oh, I forgot about this enemy. This is a different one. Okay. I, I remember... Here's a funny thing. Growing up... Growing up, my brother and I had nicknames for all the enemies in this. Because you have to remember, when I played this game, I was like seven years old. Right, my brother was like five. So I think we called these little purple ones tonsils, right? Because we thought this is what tonsils look like when you got your tonsil taken out. Now, what we were thinking of was actually the uvula, but, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we called it a tonsil. So that was, that was funny. Uh, and then the little brown one, I think we called them puppies because they actually kind of look a little bit like baby dogs. And they also kind of make those little whimpering noises kind of like baby dogs. So it's, it's understandable why. I think there's other, some other green enemy in here with a horn, and we, we thought it was a rhino. 
because you know rhinos have a single horn. So, but I don't think you see that one till later. Whoops. Okay, yeah, you can't get too hurt, obviously. And then you go invisible when you get hurt. Uh, fun fact, by the way, originally you did not go invisible, you just sort of blinked. But I think newer versions of Windows, the changes they made to direct draw, actually is what makes you go invisible. So that's kind of cool. Okay, Brett, oh, welcome, dude. He says, hi, everyone. Just watching a little of the stream before I go watch college football all day. I'm glad you are, Brett. Welcome. The whole Dark Souls needs an easy mode. Is dumb as all hell. Oh, that is stupid. It's like the whole point of the game is to be difficult. What Kess said with the screw took long, too long of a thing to remember for me. Eh. Kess, these are pro gamer strats. I expected more from you. Well, what do you what do you want exactly, Chicken Lord? I mean, it's a simple little game. What what kind of pro gamer strats are you looking for exactly? I'm I'm going along. I'm killing enemies. I'm. I'm gathering beads. I don't really know what more you want. You want me to, like, do something fancy? You want me to... Here, here. Okay, fine. Here, fine. Excuse me. Will you marry me? Okay, didn't work, Chicken Lord. I don't know what your deal is, dude. Okay, Chicken Lord. I don't know. Chicken Lord. What's the problem with Chicken Lord, guys? Everything he suggests is it never works, right? I don't know what his deal is. He's like, he's basically... He's basically the people of NVIDIA control panel. There we go. That's a terrible thing to say about somebody. Like, no matter how much you hate someone, you can never call them the people of NVIDIA Control Panel. It just, you just can't. What do you expect from a heavy mate? Ooh, roasted. So did his mom, just kidding. Okay, well, everybody hates me today for some reason. Spirit of Glace is a story-rich open-world adventure platform. It tells the unforgettable tale of Glace, a small creature who suddenly appears out of nowhere during a strange experiment. That's the description of the new Glace game. You are correct, KJ. What? It's basically a remake of this. Or reimagining, maybe. So, so yeah, so that'll be interesting whenever it comes out, which I don't know when that'll be. He's been working on it for a couple of years now, but you know, he's he's got other stuff to do. My man Tommy Visick, he like makes Android apps for a living. I'm pretty sure is what he said. So, I'm sure he's got more going on than just this. You know, he's married. He has chickens. So, me and him we're, we're close. Obviously, we're like this. That's. That's totally why he's here on the stream right now. Oh, wait, what? Never mind. He's not. I wish he was, but but no. I know. I'm sad about it, too. Okay. Let's go ahead and take this out. Nice. Nice. But, I mean, who would spend their Saturday watching this, though, right? Oh, wait. <laughs> Mario's enemy is basically Dewey Jr. Interesting. To clarify, I'm going to the Unidome with family to see the Northern Iowa Panthers football team. That sounds fun, Brett. I hope you enjoy it. I'm not much of a football man myself, but a lot of people seem to really enjoy it, so that's good. Better pop up here. Grab me some gems. Oh, look at those pro gamer strats. Wow. I almost jumped over that guy. Talk about a pro gamer strat. See, I knocked him out of a tree. If you can't knock a little tonsil monster out of a tree, then I don't know what to tell you. There we go. I did it. What's in here? More gems. Hooray. That was impressive. 107 gems. Almost got to 1,500. Whoop, wait, what's over here? Oh, it's a puppy again. Whoop. Nice try, puppy. Nice. Here's Essie again. Hello, Essie. Hello again. Did you find any more beads? I did not. Hmm, me neither. We'll just have to keep looking. Sounds good to me. Thanks for the help, place. Be on the lookout for clues. I'll see you soon. Good deal, homie. Invincibility frame rates have that issue with higher frame rates. What? <laughs> what, Chicken Lord? What? Okay, I won't stop to record myself being a programmer and violate rule three in the Discord to prove my word against Cass. Cass okay, should play Commander Keen soon. I have, uh, I did some Commander Keen fan levels in Wolfenstein Blade of Agony, but I've never actually played regular Commander Keen. Anyway, your mom enjoys not a lot of trees. <laughs> I wish she would. That would that would that would make her a far more interesting person. Found Tommy's email. Hey, good for you, dude. You can email him and tell tell me that I'm over here desecrating his uh, his, his 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 little child project. What, why the hell do I talk? I need to shut up. I need to just become a no commentary channel. That would get rid of basically all the cringe. I just need to become K 
Kess Gaming, no commentary. Probably get more views, too. People be like, oh, this guy's not annoying anymore. Let's actually watch him. So that would be fun. <laughs> All right, I need to just make that a poll. Hey, who wants Kess Gaming to become no commentary? Okay, let's go ahead and take out the tonsil monster. Thank you. Oh, there's the rhino. I was talking about him. What's good, fam? Oh, and then he gets mad, right? Yeah, he gets mad and he charges you. He's got two gems. Dang, son. Can he charge me off the side of this thing? Hold up, let's find out. Oh, he cannot. I don't think so, anyway. Let's try. No, he can't. Oh, wow. Okay, that's disappointing. I thought he would charge himself off the side of that hill there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah! <laughs> oh, that's fun. Oh, man, I forgot how much I like this game. Uh, it's, it's not anything super fancy. It's a simple little game, but it was just so much fun. I loved playing this as a kid. Looking back now, I realize the story doesn't make as much sense as I thought it did, but... I mean, it makes sense. The sensible story is just a little odd, you know? Blob of blob of uh, purple raindrop from outer space helps a bear find gems. You know, it's a it it's not as sens sensical as I gave it credit for. I guess I don't know. I don't know what I expected. Uh, anyways, I've been playing Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition on PS4. That sounds fun. Commander Kess marooned in Germany. You want my opinion? That is. That the channel get boring. Oh yeah, I know that. I was making a joke, Brad. No commentary channel, but Kesto uses face cam. Oh gosh. Invincibility frames are when characters blink after you get hit. When you have higher frame rates, it looks as if they're invisible breaking it. Oh, I didn't know that, Chicken Ward. That's interesting. Um, anyway. I'm not like that. I only really watch commentary text on screen, but yeah, I'm the same way. I'm the same way. I know a no commentary channel would be boring as hell, because I would, because I wouldn't, I would never watch one. So surprising though, there those are sometimes very popular. Like there's a guy on YouTube. He calls himself Apollo Four Three Two, right? He started doing YouTube after I did, and all he uploads about two or three times a day. He'll upload like a 15 minute no commentary video. No thumbnail, no creative title, no nothing, just name of game, you know, whatever game mode it is, no commentary. And he'll do like Call of Duty, Battlefield, Star Wars, etc. Right? 15 minutes a day, no commentary. Thousands and thousands of views. He has like half a million subs. And, he, and again, this guy started months, like three months after I did. And I mean, I'm not jealous or nothing. It's like, it's like, hey, more power to you, dude. It's just surprising that the no commentary market is that big. You know what I'm saying? Your commentary is part of the charm of this channel. Oh yeah. No, without without the cast gaming commentary, it would basically it basically be a dead channel. <laughs> Let's be honest. I don't think I can actually get back up there. Not that I really need to. It's just a matter of can you. Okay, let's go down here. Um da -da. Yeah, the commentary sucks, but going no commentary back taking the wheels out of Forza. <laughs> it would, wouldn't it? It'd be very much like that. Also, you suck. All right, let's get the dandelion. There we go. Oh, no, 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 ah! Nice. All right, can I go up in that tree? Is there like tree stuff up there? Well, obviously there's tree stuff, but you know what I'm saying. Like, are there gems? Are there gems in this magically tall tree? There are, but I cannot access it from down here. You have to find a different way to access the magical tree. Magical gem tree. There you go. Uh, that one's just up there, but it knows to come to me whenever I kill it. So it's weird. It, it's weird. You can pick up gems just regularly, but if you hit them with a bead or they come out of a living character, it's like they're magnetized to you. You cannot get away from them. You know what I'm saying? It's it's shocking, really. It's like imagine getting rid of the imagine getting away from the gems. Imagine. Alright, so we'll go with that. I'm gonna have to backtrack a little bit to get to that gem tree. Figure out how to get up in one of these. There we go, we can get up there. Oh, or we can get up in that one. Here we go. Alright guys, I got this. Check it. Check it, boyos. 
Nice. Okay, oh wow, there's tons of gems up in here, up in these trees. Oh, there's enemies in the trees! How did they get up here? How did a little rhino man get in this tree? That's crazy. Uh-oh. Another rhino man. All right, no more rhino man. Let's go over here. Hold up a second. Did I make it? Am I in the magical tree? No. Where's the magical tree? Oh, it's way up there. So how do we... Here's what I don't understand. Oh, well, I understand now. Now I get it. Nice, we did it. Beautiful, almost 200 gems now. That's kind of cool. And we're about back to where we last were. Good deal. So I guess we can continue now that we've gotten all the gems out of the trees and... Wait, shit, listen. Ooh, creature one. So have you heard of, have you heard of the king is pleased with his new decorations? You haven't heard? The king is crazy about them. He wants even more. Who wants to guess he stole some beads? More? How are we supposed to find more? You don't come across such pretty beads every day. Well, I say we go back to that treehouse where we found the others. So they stole them, yep. Yeah, maybe we missed some. Quiet, someone is coming. Oh, everybody in this game waddles. Have you guys noticed that? Everybody in this game is a waddler. Nobody walks in here. Mean Ush, welcome to the stream, dude. Please don't be mean. And please shush. Ah ha ha. I'm, I'm terrible. Okay. Commander test two, the channel explodes. Uh, looks like a bad version of Rice Star. What, what, what does? What's this game all about, says Mean Ush? Um, so this is a platforming game where you play as the character Glace, who's trying to help his new friend Essie recover beads that got stolen. And uh, that's about as far as we've gotten so far. Janik says, cool. Hey, Janik, welcome. Given you play Fortress Forever tonight, you will need some real good pro gamer strats. Purple Gumdrop gets subducted by Winnie the Pooh because the science men hate him. There you go. That's a good That's a good explanation of what Quace is. So yeah, Minash. There you go, dude. Winnie the Pooh abducts a purple raindrop because the mean scientists don't like him. That's, that's perfect. But I mean, Vistic would be so proud of you, Chicken Lord. Okay. Yeah, Walmart brand <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> okay, okay I'm, 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 I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. Uh, okay. <laughs> Probably not. Also, that's what she said. Oh, there's no floor. It's just a tree. Oh, hell. There's, I can't I can't go on the ground, guys. I just perpetually live in trees now. What the hell? Oh, the soundtrack is pretty banging. No, I can't even lie. I love the soundtrack of this. It's so... It's so, I don't know. Chipper? There you go. Very chipper. Hold up. There we go. Gotta go, th gotta go through all the trees. Gotta look for stuff, you know? Gotta look for goodies. I don't see any goodies, unfortunately. Wait, what's over here? Oh, it's a rhino. A couple of rhinos. Hello, rhino. Nice. Anybody else? Nope. Looks good. Okay. We're gonna go back then and try to climb up these trees. Try to get to this wall. games, but I have seen them. Oh! He jumped over it. What a smart little rhino. Imagine being that intelligent, right? Whoops. Imagine being that unintelligent. Whoops. Oh, hey, there's a sign. That's how you know the stage is almost over. What, what, what? Hi, Essie. Hello, Gwace. Any luck? Anyway. Winnie the Pooh forced a raindrop to do his work for him. 
there are eight Commander King games, plus three fan games. That's cool. Okay. What's that? You heard two creatures talking about the magic beads? What did they look like? Apparently they looked like... Apparently that's what they looked like. Oh, it must be the wickets that you saw. I love how he just knows exactly what it was that we saw. The Wickets. They're a mischievous tribe of little metal sticks that people use to play croquet. No, I'm teasing. They're a mischievous tribe of little wooden creatures who live in the swamp just ahead. They must have stolen the beads as a gift to their kid. Oh, music's going off. Uh-oh. Wait, so I have to go back to my house to get the beads stashed there. If the Wickets get a hold of all four beads, their tricks could be the end of the whole universe. Apparently these beads are no joke. Blaze, can you go on by yourself for a while? Yes, I can. Good. Head straight for the center of the swamp. That's where the King Wicket stays. Gotta go get our gems back. Or beads, or whatever the hell they are. I'll catch up with you along the way. Good luck. Alright, boys. Time to go. This is the swamp. I can see it. I can, I can have a little summer home here. What do you guys think? You guys, you guys want you guys want to see Kess's, Kess's summer home in the swamp? Oh, this is beautiful, though. Now, I really like the music in this soundtrack. This yeah, the music in this stage. There you go. It's nice. Okay. Now we got little frog critters. Little frogs with blue hair. They actually look about as gunky as I do, if I'm being honest. They actually look more like slime than like frogs. They look like little slimes with blue hair that just jump like frogs. Ooh. Hey, you better leave our swamp or there's gonna be trouble. Okay, well. It's nice everyone here is so welcoming. Let's go over here and give this guy what for. I got a bead, son. What do you got? What do you got? Yeah, that's right. You don't got squat. You don't got squat, son. He has his little spear, I guess. That's probably important. Okay. Boom. Boom. Beautiful. Grab this little bee. Boom. Oh. That was bad. That was not what good aiming looked like. I got uh, 250 beads. Just about. That's not beads. Gems. These are gems. This is a bead. I need to keep that straight in my head. I keep, I keep forgetting. Bear. He looks like Yellow Shrek. Yellow Shrek. No, nope, that's Essie, dude. <laughs> Yellow Shrek, huh? He doesn't live in a swamp, though. He lives in a treehouse. The Wickets would be more like Yellow Shrek. Okay, little Spear Man apparently doesn't uh, doesn't like that too much. Well, I beat him up pretty good, I dare say. Turned him all into little gyms now, and I hope to do the same for each and every single one of you someday. <laughs> that's a terrible thing to say. All right, one of them. Oh, this guy's got a little pea shoot shooter. Look at that. Look at that. All right. No more peas getting shot when I'm around. Oh, sad. That, 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 uh, that spear really hurt, hurt, hurt your brother, too. I'm not even gonna lie. Hold up. Nice. There we go. Beautiful. Let's see if, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. That's how you get gems from somewhere that's slightly difficult to reach. Whoops, got too close. Yeah, I need to quit getting so close to the enemies. Oh, stink. My gem just got auto returned to me instead of going up there and getting that guy. Hold up, I'll get him. Oh, stink. The little falling bullet got me. There we go. I lost about half my health. I think I'm just going to chill for a sec, then we'll go get that other guy. Hardcore Mario. Shrek's house a large tree stump, and Essie lives in a tree house. As he is Shrek confirmed. <laughs> Anyone else play Cat Mario? I believe it was called Cat Mario. I have never heard of that. I certainly never played it. Cat Mario. Nice. Apparently the spear guys only take take three. 
three hits, but the gun guys only take two. I don't know why that is, but it's interesting. Nice. Hold up a second. There we go. How about that, Chicken Lord? There's some pro gaming skills. Nice. Nice. Oh, man. But thank you guys so much for coming out to the stream today. I appreciate it. I've wanted to stream this game on my channel for forever, but I was just always doing something else. And I was like, last week, I think it was like last Saturday, actually. I was like, hey, you know what? Next Saturday, I should stream Glace. That would be super fun. So I did. So. stash in the tree here. Hold up. I'll tell you exactly how I'm going to get it. Uh, it's not going to be doing that. Let's try... Yeah, there you go. Okay, got to get every single gem. I do be a completionist after all. Oh, no, it's Wicked Man. Mr. Spear Boy. Come at me. There you go. The Wickets are actually adorable when they're not angry. They're, they're kind of scary looking when they're angry. So, so here's what I don't get. What are the rhinos still doing in the swamp? Uh, you got swamp frogs, you got wickets, and then you got rhinos from the last level. Like, how does, how does that make any sense? You know what I want to see? I want to see a wicket riding a, a, uh, a rhino, like as a pet, right? Like as a camel or something? That'd be cool. It's actually called... Wait, what are we talking about? It's actually called Sayoban No Action. I did it last week. It's very fun. Here. There we go. I think we're almost done with this stage. We are. Wow. Good deal. All right, boys. Well, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go get some tea and some ice so I have something to drink. And apparently, we're going to find out what the meanwhile text means as soon as I get back. Because uh, it's going back to the beginning music of the game. I can actually see it in the background behind the dark screen. They're back in the lab. So I guess we're going to go see what Dr. Frog and Dr. Slug are doing. But I'm gonna get me some tea, so we are being. Doofensmirch was inspired by Dr. Swag, confirmed. At once, sir. Yeah, field trip. Dr. Frog is pretty stupid. What a dummy. Yeah. 
You're not wrong, Dr. Slag. He's kind of stupid. All right, Swampy's out in stage two. So apparently they're coming here. They're probably coming to get the bees. So uh, not only we got to deal with wicket stealing them, we got to deal with the scientists too. Of course, the rate I'm going, there's not going to be any wickets left on this planet. Like, dang. Of course, we're only getting the ones that have weapons. We don't know if the it, what the female or children wickets are like or where they even are or if they even exist. I haven't seen one female creature on this planet. Turns out this whole time the tonsil monsters are the female. Ah. Uh, I'm teasing. In fact, we don't even know this is the same universe. There, there might not even be anything like that over here. There might not be like any sort of like gender or sex stuff here. It might just all be there. They just are a thing. Be a little surprised. But a lot. Oh, I've only. Oh, I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead. I just realized I only have like three health bars left. I'm nearly invisible. Look at me. Look how translucent your boy is. I gotta just chill for a sec. Let me help get back up. Okay. Portal stories now. Soon I know. What are you talking about? What about portal stories now? Bro, this version of Cat Mario is like twice as fast. This isn't Cat Mario, dude. I don't know what Cat Mario is. It may, it may be Cat Mario. I don't know. Uh. Nice. Give that guy a good pop, and there we go. Hello, sir. Have a nice little gym. Thank you. Or a bead. Uh, a little spear. Spear? Spear. I meant to say spear. I said spear. That's not correct. The spear would be something super round. Like your ma! Okay, no. 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 Alright, let's go up here. Where are we at? I'm gonna go down here next. There we go. We gotta... Uh-oh. We know why you're here, Blob. The beads are ours now. We stole them. Not you. Yes, I know. I just found this one. We're gonna make sure you stop right here. Oh boy. Oh fun. I remember this. This is kind of your first little battle sequence, if I remember correctly. Wicked, we don't have time for this. We've gotta get these decorations to the king. We're gonna show this blob who's boss in this swamp. You guard the stuff. Fine, whatever. Almost back off. Makes sense. Okay, blobby. You're gonna regret ever coming here. He's gonna end this man's whole career. That's what he's doing. Wickets, attack the intruder. All right, time to kill you, Mr. Big Mouth. Boom, all right, he's dead. Here's Spearman, Spearman right down here. I cannot say the word spear to save my life. Got another gunner right here, nice. Okay, yep, we got more. Oh, there's more. Oh, I thought we were finished. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Let's just assume there's falling enemies from the sky until told otherwise. That'd probably be a good plan. Art Hell, welcome to stream, Art Hell. Dang, that's playing a ripoff of a water girl and fire boy game. Is Glace just a ripoff to you people? This was my childhood, okay? I didn't even play any of these other no, nobody gives a crap games you've ever talked about, right? This, this right here. This game that I'm playing is like cream of the crop, and you're over here with this Mario crap, some stuff nobody plays about or cares. Water boy, fire girl, what? You know what I'm saying? It's like, this, this right here, this, my friends, is the cat's pajamas, okay? You gotta get some culture in your lives. Okay, especially Artie. He gotta get some culture and give it to his mom. Anyway, except there's just a water jug. This is the Japanese... Um, that is the Japanese of Cat Mario, so they're both right. I don't know what that means. Cat should play Cat Mario. Agreed. <laughs> I'm not going to get beat up over some little bead. Here, take it. Stinky, yeah, guys. I'll play some Cat Mario. King is another one. Just leave me alone, Bob. Okay, well, here he goes. Bye-bye. So, yeah, we beat a whole little army of wickets, and he gave us one of our beads. 
found another bead. Now you have twice the firepower. Good deal, boys. Now we have two beads we can shoot. And check this out. Check this out. Check it. Now they show up in a different order. How cool is that? You don't give a crap. I think I like the white one better. Just you know, just for the design of it. Anyway, but yeah, now we got two beads. So good stuff. Now we gotta go find the king and get the third one back. Then I think we'll be done since Essie still has that uh, fourth one in this house. Wait a minute, there's something over here, isn't there? Yep, 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 there is. Uh, whole little stair sequence. Who wants to guess this goes to some gems? Here's some right here. There you go. There's two of them anyway. Wicket, here's some more gems. Nice, hello, Mr. Rhino. How you doing, homie? Nice. Oh, hold up. Gotta get some speed if we're gonna pull this off. Nice. Beautiful. Okay, Fireboy and Water Girl is the pop. There you go, that's the spirit, Denver. I knew there was some reason I liked you. Jeez. Okay. Okay, let's go down here. Uh, got some gems over here on the side. Nice. A little froggy. Hello, Mr. Froggy. You gotta wait till you go over the, the ride a little bit. Alright. Oh! Oh, that's new. Uh, this looks like some sort of hornet or wasp or something. Some little, some little swamp hornet. Yeah, okay, fair enough. They did a lot of good hits, too. Dang, got a good little sting to him. Oh, boy, here's one. Yep. When he comes down to attack you, that's the idea. Just uh, go real fast so you kind of get behind him, and then when he attacks you, you can just shoot him with some gems. He gets back up again, so no problem. Nice. I think that it takes about four shots to kill this. Oh crap, he got me. Nice. That's okay, we got him back. Alright, I hear a gun. I hear a wicked gun. Whoop! Hit that a little too fast. Okay, cast Cat Mario games are known for being really hard and not always for good reasons. Oh. Well, that does not sound very fun. That sounds more frustrating than anything else. Whoops. Oh, I'm gonna go back here for a second. Yeah, well, I tried. Boom. Beautiful. Nice. Okay. We're gonna grab this. I don't get it. How do I get up here? Wait a minute. I know. I know exactly how we're gonna do it. Hold on. Big, big gamer skills, right here. Big gaming skills, so. Oh, I almost had it, okay. Hold on. Hold on, I got this, guys. Just you wait and see. There we go, beautiful. I knew I could do it. Wall jumps look so cool. Yeah, they are, they're really cool. They're a cool little mechanic they put in here. Um, believe it or not, when I was about seven, I got to one stage. Well, I guess I can't, shouldn't say where that is. Spoilers. I'll say it once we get there. So, basically, I never finished this game as a kid is what I'm getting at. Because there was this part that we got stuck at. So. And apparently, I actually asked uh, the creator of the game, Tommy Bissick, about it. He said a lot of people got stuck at the part where I got stuck at. But I was only seven years old. I mean, give me a break. Uh, okay. I think, I think a lot of people played this when they were kids, because, you know, it was free. It was a free, it was a freeware, shareware type of game, so. My, that was what my father did to keep me and my brother entertained with stuff, is he would, uh, he would just download these free games on the internet for us to play. And this is one of them. So, I have plenty of others, too. So we'll have we'll do more series on the channel with other stuff I played as a kid. I mean, Chicken Invaders, that's basically one of the series I did. That was something I played as a kid. There's another platformer kind of like this called Pekka Kana. We can play that at some point. Neo, that game is easy. 
possible bosses. Allow us to introduce ourselves. Yeah. I feel you. It's like when I'm a completionist, right? All the broken achievements in dead multiplayer in games. They want to introduce themselves. And I'm like, I do not want to meet you. Two guys, two gems. Nice. That was not hard at all. That was that was drop dead easy, as a matter of fact. Whoop! Oh, I missed. That that was unfortunate. That was an unfortunate amount of missing. Okay, here we go. I think we're at the end now. All right, where's the king? I want to go meet the king. Where's King Wicked Boy? Oh, I stopped. What am I? What? Why did I hesitate for? Why did I stop and look around? I have no idea. So when did this game get released? Like 2004? Yeah, exactly 2004. How did you know? Wait, you read the description, didn't you? Dang, yeah, but already now. In my case, in Final Fantasy 12, it'll be elemental instead of impossible bosses. I don't know what that means. Okay, let's continue. Oh, Steve, go home. His autocorrect screwed him up again. Steve, turn your autocorrect off, dude. For goodness sake. Disable it. Key, if, you, if you hate it so much, man, get rid of it. That's what I did, and look at me. Look how happy I am. Okay, that's a bad example. Uh, hold up a second now. Hold up. Oh, I just realized something here. There's more to this area, isn't there? Yeah, there's something up there. I gotta go up there and get whatever the stink that is. How do we get up there, though, is the question. That did not work. Uh, is there a way to get up there? That works. Dead. Good deal. Anyway, um, Bob was expecting something. Yeah, he kind of was. Expecting a cutscene or a. Wicked, maybe thought he heard a, a rhino. Could have been anything, really. Time to get over here. They're all out of juice. Dang. What's up, homie? Being stealthy. Um, this is basically Metal Gear Solid. It's all about stealth. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, it's fun. To, it's fun to just call things other things just to aggravate people. I don't know why that's so fun, but it is. I guess because people take it so seriously when it's just all trying to be a joke. And then you have some people who are kind of good natured. This kind of going on with you, so. Okay, how am I gonna get back up there? Cause I gotta go kill Wicked Boy. Hold up. There we go. Goodbye, Wicked Boy. Character upgrades, let's go. Hey look, they got SpongeBob on the wall over there with the stick. That's kinda cool. Oh. Uh, yeah, see? There's SpongeBob. Right, right there, got a spear and everything. It's probably what the Wicked King is gonna be. It's probably just gonna be a shamelessly... Shameless SpongeBob? Okay, no, I'm teasing. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Alright, ah! Oh, we knocked him off! Hooray! Goodbye, Rhino. It's nice knowing you, son. Oh, I only got one gym now. Oh, there's my other gym. Okay, I gotta avoid these things, because these things are terrible. Oh, boy. Gotta jump all the way up there now. Get those two gems. I have very little health left, which is unnerving a little bit. Oh, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I only got one health thing left. I get another one, it's game over, son. Okay. Woo. 
All right, now our health's gone up a little bit. Let's get back here, and I screwed it up again, because you know what I need to do? No, I failed! Dang, nab it! Oh, and I have to start all over again, that sucks. All right, that was my own fault. You know what I should have done, guys? You know what I honestly should have done? You stupid wicket. Man, I'm really starting to hate these people. I am so glad I'm ridding the swamp of your pestilence. Anyway, as I was saying, before I was so stupidly interrupted, um, my mistake was I was trying to get at him from down there. I should have been going up higher. What is the death animation like? Now you fi found out. Congrats. Oh, there it is for you, Mina. Exactly! Exactly! Uh, very, very big sad. Alright, it is time for death. Nice. Just see some random bead. It's like, what the hell is this? It's like, oh. Very hurt. Very hurtful. Apparently they got a lot of power behind them, which is why everybody wants some wickets. Scientists. I don't know why the hell Essie wants them. They're, they're probably his grandmas or something. Grandma Essie. That used to be a character in the spirit of place. That needs to be one of their characters, is just Grandma Essie. Because, like, who wouldn't love that? Who wouldn't love a Grandma Essie? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna take that guy out. That's the guy who killed me, right? I guess I didn't get as far as I thought I had, but... Oh, wait a minute. No. No, I can't. No, no, no. I got farther than this. Or no, maybe I didn't. Actually, you know what? I did not. I, did, I actually don't know none. Yeah, I did. I did. I can't, I can't figure it out. <laughs> I can't make up my own stupid mind. Okay, I think it was after this where I died. Yeah, yeah, it was over here. Alright, I learned my mistake, though. Yeah, it was after, it was after Spongebob. It was post-Spongebob. There we go. Nice. Cash just uses Future Boy to show you what the Death Match animation is. Gosh, before you even asked. Yep, yeah, it's just one of my fancy little superpowers. Like, like you do. Nice, okay. So there's that guy. We'll go back for him. Right now, I want to deal with this fool and his stupid gun. There we go. Alright, so now we gotta go deal with this guy. There we go. Alright, boys. So, we gotta scout the sphere. Nice. So, I guess I need to jump back over here in this house and then go over this way. Alright, so we are now past that point. Oh, wait, I gotta jump off the side here. I gotta use that wall jump. You have to get plenty of a good running start before you can do a wall jump. Nice. And then a floor jump. A little bit. Calm down. Coincidence happen. There are no accidents, says Art Hell. Pulling out those Kung Fu Panda quotes like you do. Gotta appreciate that. Gotta appreciate that, my boy Art Hell. Pulling out the Kung Fu Panda quotes. Alright, let's grab the gym. Go up here, grab the rhino. Come here, rhino boy. Alright, we got rid of rhino boy. Nice. Whee! Oh no, it's the, it's the... What is that, a hornet? Yeah, it's the hornet. Come here, hornet. You stupid gunner. There's that gunner guy right there. Oh no, he's gonna come here and try to get me, isn't he? Yep, I knew it. Alright, we got him, though. Good deal. Alright, I'm feeling pretty confident. Oh, here he is. Hey, we're... we're uh, I'm eye level with him now, because I'm a little bit raised up off the ground. You can fight him a little more effectively that way. Nice. Uh-oh, I don't think I'm gonna make it to this guy in time. Let's go back over here for a second. Yeah, here we go. Come here, fool. Nice. I think that time it just sort of stuck to him and just did damage for a second. Oh, no. Oh! Oh, that was funny. Oh, how come you can't- how come you don't sting the wickets? Come on, man. I guess- I guess they're wickets. I guess there's pain around the wickets, probably. They're probably- they're probably owned by the wickets. They're probably wicked pets. Probably help protect the swamp from intruders, quite frankly. They're probably on pretty high alert security now here. I mean, I just destroyed their whole army, stole a red bead. I'm surprised that I don't see little Glace wanted posters everywhere, quite frankly. 
Your local Texan says, yo, Kes, what's up? What's up, your local Texan? We're playing a little bit of a throwback today. It's a lovely game called Glace, a game I used to play when I was a kid. So, fun stuff. Nice, okay. So also, I'm gonna ask, uh, since this is the older version of Glace and it's freeware, I'm gonna ask the creator, Tommy Visick, if he minds if I make a tutorial video showing how to download it, just because I think there's probably a lot of people out there who'd like to play this, but don't know where to get it from or how to find a working version of anyway. So I'm gonna hit him up, see if he'll let me do that. So yeah, that'll be fun. All right, so, oh, we got that guy way over there. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're just gonna jump way up here, all the way up. Or wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute, I might be stupid. Maybe I was supposed to, use, yeah, we're supposed to use the stairs, I'll bet you. But either there's more of a progression of this than I'm giving it credit for. Yeah, I was trying to like, I was trying to like cheese it. Hold up a second, let's. Uh, you guys heard that too, right? <laughs> okay, never mind. Let's go up here. Go back this way, thank you for the gems. A lot of gunners up top. Yeah, we're just gonna have to treat this whole thing like a little platforming section. Nice. Nice. Okay. Here we go. What's good, son? Right, he's down. Grab that gym. I need to go down here and take care of this guy, too. Because he's a pain. There you go. All right, so I think there shouldn't be any more gunners. I think that's all of them, all the gunners, all the enemies. There's a spear guy up here. There you go. All right, we'll take him out. There you go, now we're gonna make it. And to climb a ways up, go any further. Oh, then we have to go back down again. Huh, how weird. I don't know how to feel about that. I do know what I need to, f I do know what to feel about this though. I don't like it. Uh, you know what? Never mind. This sucks. I'm out. I'm out. I'm just gonna chill over here for a second until I get my health back. Take a puff off of my pen. Kiss favorite IO game. Favorite IO game? You mean like one of those dot IO games? That's a hard choice, dude. I don't know. Let me think about that for a minute. Um, you left some gems? I left some gems? Shouldn't have. Let's go back and check. I sure don't see any, dude. I assume I left him at the bottom of the hill. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think I left any. All right, my health's back, though. So what I am gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and absolutely destroy this fool. There we go. Now it's time to destroy this one. throw that far, can I? Probably not. Nope. I'm gonna give it a sec for my health to recharge and then... Whoops, he got me. Yeah, oh man, he got me real good. I am low health now. Woo! Okay, let's chill. Let's just chill. Let's just chill. Take a puff on our pin. Right side of the cave. I won't worry about it for right now. Actually, wait, you said right side of the cave? It's like all the way back down? Yeah, no. You know me, I'm a completionist. If I, if I don't get them, it's gonna bother me. Let's go check. Uh, okay. Jim's right side of the cave. I gotta wait for my health to recharge anyway, so we might as well. Right side of the cave. Right side of the cave. Um, I am not seeing the gems, Minash. Oh, maybe you meant down here. Oh, you're right. Good job, dude. I did leave, leave some gems behind. All three of them. All right, shout out to me and then for pointing that out. <coughs> Appreciate that. Okay. And not only did we get our gems, but now we're back and healthy, so I guess we can go take out that last wicket with the gun. Jump up here. This platforming section is actually pretty fun. I can't even lie, I like it a lot. Thank you guys for 11 likes on the stream, by the way. Appreciate you. Appreciate all the nice likes. 
Doom. Far be it that I ever play anything else but Doom, you know. You know your boy. Doom and TF2 all day, every day. Nah, I'm teasing. I gotta actually branch out, play more games, more better variety. Anyway. Ooh, it's the King Wicket. Let's go. I know you're here to take my new decoration. Boss battle incoming, boys. Tell by the music. The beat is too free to give up. You have to fight me for it. Oh! How? Come at me, son. Ooh, he can shoot little magical things out of his spear. And he can stomp. Boom, son, and he can charge, apparently. Woohoo! Okay, that is enough. You are indeed strong. Strong like the weasel. 
What? You are indeed strong, strong like the weasel. Am I missing something? What the, what the hell is strong about a weasel? Where are there weasels in the, okay. I have taken you to where I've hidden your magic, I, oh, I will take you to where I've hidden your magic bead. Okay, all right, take me there. Looks like more generic swamp area to me. The bead is just ahead, please take it and leave. Will do, homie. Oh, it's still a cutscene. I'm not controlling this. Okay. Uh-oh. That was the scientist spaceship, wasn't it? Yep. Oh, uh, boy, that's pretty, though. Yellow and black. Yep, here they are. Here they are, boys. Right? Where's the spaceship? Oh, never mind. They just fell down. Wait. Why did... Why did it go up? Well, how come I can't see them? Aha, what do we have here? Oh, oh, it's that thing we actually made in the lab. Why can't I see them? Why are we up high? Yes, I know that, Dr. Frog. Try to control yourself. Why, hello there, my little failure. That's not how I remember. I remember being able to see them. I don't know how you're still alive, but I really don't care either way. Who would have thought, after all these years of searching and experimenting, power I have been looking for has been on this pathetic little planet all along. How can such pretty little beads hold such great power? No matter. I will soon find out. The universe will bow down to me. Dr. Swag is the smartest and bravest of them all. Now listen to me, you little mistake. Hand over those beads and I just might let you live. Not going to cooperate. Just as well. Hinchbots! Oh, there's those guys. That's right, just run away. You're a mistake, a mishap. You have nowhere to go. Here we am running. I can't see any of this. I mean, I was just like, it's a trap. Insults weasel, look up, it's tree. <laughs> what are you looking at? Um, should we go after it? We'll have to come back for the beads it has later. The hinge bots were not designed for this filthy school. Back to the spaceship. We will prepare to return to this planet as soon as possible. I guess he got my third bead then, huh? I put that bead in a bag or something. Those sparkles are getting on my nerves. Dr. Swag needs to take a Xanax or something, dude. I mean, my stink. Well, I guess I'm sad now. Because we lost Essie's bead. It se seems like sad music. All right, well, I guess we're going home to Essie. Look, another wicket. Oh, hey, Glace, right? Heard you eat the king in a fight. You must be pretty tough. Oh, I guess they're just cool with me now because I beat their king. I guess that's how you get accepted in the wicket cult. Oh. Glace? See you, dude. <laughs> Apparently, I gotta get home. Oh, there's a tonsil in a tree. Good deal. You guys can hear that too, right? Oh no. They lit Essie's home on fire. Poor Essie. I hope he's not. He better not be inside. I don't think he is. If I remember correctly, he's not inside. Yeah, Glace, get some water or something, dude. Go back to the swamp. Essie, he's yelling Glace. Okay. Oh, wait, he's over here. That's good. Oh, he looks out of it. Dang. Yeah, Winnie the Pooh looks beat up. Quace, you're safe. Two creatures in white lab coats. They took the beads from my house. They took the beads, excuse me, from my house and set everything on fire. And I thought the wickets were trouble. Okay, so they have the wicket bead and his beads. So they have two and I have two. I heard them talking about you, Quace. They said you, they created you, that you were some kind of failed experiment. According to who? You've helped so much. You're the only reason why they don't have all four beads. You were no accident, Quace. You showed up right when the universe needed you the most. <laughs> uh, we've got to hide, Quace. They'll be back for the two beads you're holding soon. If they get all four beads, they'll control everything.
Grace, where are you going? You're going to take the beads back? Wow, you're braver than I thought. Uh, okay, Grace, this is risky, but it's a good idea. They won't expect you to go after them. They said their spaceship's on top of the Frosty Mountains. That's where they must be headed. Good deal, I'm going to the Frosty Mountains. I want some Frosties. Mr. Vast, welcome, dude. He says, I didn't know you knew side scrollers. Side scrollers is most of what I played as a kid, dude. So, yeah. Looks like Shrek mixed with Pooh Bear. That's funny. Who, who, who else said that? Was it Enos who said that? Somebody else said the same thing. Essie, where you're going, don't leave me here. Essie, where you going? Don't leave me here to die. He'll be fine. Feel bad about his house, though. It's on fire. Oh, this is nice, though. I like the soundtrack for this. Oh, look how mad I look. I look pretty darn angry. They burned down my friend's house and stole his stuff. Look like they whooped the crap out of him, too. Gave him the once over or whatever. Like, it's not sad, but it sure as thing looks like it. Oh, man. We gotta, we gotta kill these weird little sheep-looking things. I don't actually know what the hell this is. This looks like a teddy bear, but when I was younger, my brother and I always thought of them as sheep, even though I don't... It's not really a sheep breed, it's just a fast little furry mountain animal. I think there's some wicked mountain men up here. Yep, there's one. They throw snowballs. Check it. See? Wicked mountain men. Mm hmm There are probably some refugees from when I was slaughtering all the wickets in the wicked camp. <laughs> uh, oh, dear. Nah, these guys look crazy like they've always lived up here.
charge back up on its own, so I won't worry about that. Okay, little bunny. Oh, he's gone. Bye-bye. I'm not going down after him. I don't want to have to jump all the way back up here again. Oh, he doesn't even see me now. Dang. He just went on his way. There's the little sheep man again. That little sheep guy, that other one just looks like he's resting. What's up, dude? No, no, nobody sees me. He just wants to charge at me. I don't know what his problem is. Mosh Wizards. Welcome, dude. He says... He just said Mosh. Okay. Steve says he has more games and mods than the he knows what to do with. It is so true, though, Steve. It is so true. Hey, you know that the good news is, though? i am never run out of content. So there you go. It's true, though. I do have a ton of games and mods makes a slam dunk. I know it. Where's that green and firing sound coming from? I don't know, dude. I think it's just the wind. But I don't really know for certain. Unless, unless we come up towards a cannon firing thing. I think there's a new enemy in the snow area that's like some big little abominable snowman looking thing. I remember, the reason I remember it is ironically because I would always forget about it as a kid until I got to it. And I'd be like, oh, what the hell is this? So, yeah. Abominable snowman at some point. So be on the lookout for that. I guess. I gotta get up here and get these gems. Thank you, sir. Good deal. Woo! Alright, we got him. We got some gems. Oh boy. Here's this guy. Nice. There's another one. There's, there's a snowball wicket, too. It's only if you get hit a lot of times and then it kills you. I'm just talking about snowball wickets primarily. I actually do need to rest though. As I keep getting hit and if I rest, my health's gonna go away and then I'll have to start the level all over again. That is not fun. Jokes about his mom anymore. 
Which would suck. But, you know, that's life, unfortunately. Anyway. Jam at the top of the tree. Go ahead and grab that. That goes for everybody's mom, you know what I'm saying? sandwich. Stage. 
It's like, oh, good job, Cass. You cleared a stage. Have a bite of food. And I'm over here thinking, man, I wish I ate before the stream. Too bad I was busy. What are you busy doing, Cass? I don't want to talk about it. Hmm. Hey, Tiff. Welcome to the stream, homie. It's good to have you here. We are playing Voice today. A little side-scrolling platformer that yours truly played at the age of seven. And I'm now going back and streaming a series on it. Even though it's a very short game, so when I say series, what I really mean is one stream. So, uh, so yeah. Steve says, what's up to A-Tiff? Yeah, what is up, A-Tiff? Hope you're having a good week. Relaxing Saturday, as it were. All right, check these guys out, nice. I guess it's kind of late Saturday for you, isn't it? Okay, I guess the question for you would be in the past tense, have you had a good relaxing Saturday? Or has it sucked? So we hope not. All right, let's go up here. Nice. 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 There's that sheep again. Now remind me, is it every time I see one of those sheep they're guarding a baby penguin, or do I just occasionally just see them? I guess I just occasionally see them, because this one's not guarding a baby penguin. There we go. They do a lot of damage, but man, we get three big old gems from those. Nice. They can chase you a hot minute, though. They really can. They can chase you a good old long ways. There you go. Bye bye. All right. Oh, poor little blue sheep looking thing. Whatever the hell it's supposed to be. I gotta get away from the snowballs. I'm gonna get destroyed if I do that. Good deal. Wasn't there something up above me? I don't know. Let me take care of these guys and figure that out. Gosh, why the hell did that go backwards? That didn't make any sense. Also, I have like no health now. I'm gonna give it a second. All right, hold up, check it. Wait for it, nice. Stealthy snowball, nope. Nope, still didn't work, I tried. Is there anything, nope, Never mind. we're going completely linear. I was thinking there was like something above us that we had to like go get like a bonus section for gems. Nah, there was not anything like that. Ooh, here we go. Nice. All right, here's Snowball Man again. Good deal. We only got three health points, so I might have to give it a second to just rest and recuperate. Here's one. This time it's guarding the mama penguin instead of the baby one. They probably all 
all running little packs of wrench, that's what it is. Get back here, fool. There you go. Don't worry, Mama Ping. I got you. I'll get your children back for you. I got all the little blue sheep down here. Did the ram really put you guys on penguin sitting duty? Yep, see, there it is. Don't worry, little girl. I got you. All right, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go home. Let's go home. All right. I'm gonna take you back to Mama now. I'm gonna get my sweet gem reward. Here you go, Mama. Cough up those gems. There you go. Thank you, Mama. Why do you get mad at the Doom Mod? I mean, good suggestions. Anyways, where's a good Doom Mod and what is it? How are we up to one? His opinion. That's true. I don't think ATIP. I read what ATIP posted in the Discord, dude. I don't think he got mad. I think he just wanted to make sure that I got to play good ones as opposed to people just suggesting bad ones for me to play that took up all my time. I don't know why I'm gonna play uh, some like the more artistic creative ones, so to speak. But it's no big deal. There's plenty of time. I'll have uh, plenty of Doom mods and content and stuff coming. Nice. Got the gems. We got this little fella. Thank you. Hello, gentlemen. I can't lie. Weight of Agony was fun. Nuts was fun. I want another starter pack. Action Doom 1. Action Doom 2. I haven't made up my mind yet. <laughs> but we're gonna do... We're gonna go back and try Action Doom 2 again. Oh, we found them! That was fast. Dr. Swag. Aha! How convenient. Hey, that's the blob with the other two beads. Of course it is. And it's come to give them to us. Yes, I, I don't know. It looks awful mad. I am pretty mad. Came to give it to you, all right? Right in your fat frog face kisser. No matter. Hinchbot. Uh-oh. Gotta fight the Hinchbot. I don't care what happens to the blob. Just get me those beads. Hey, if I defeat the King Wicked, I can defeat you, son. Oh, hey, he works exactly the same way as the King Wicked. Hell. The same shots. Charges at you. Stomps. Yep. I'll take it. Boom. What you gonna do? What you gonna do, Dr. Swag? Well, beat up our robot. See that, you dumb skull. Let's see him do it again. Gladly. Come here, you stupid little robot. Come here. Come here. Oh, hell. Oh, that was that was intelligent. That was very intelligent. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Okay, I'm out. I'm out for good this time. Nope. Nope. I'm too. Oh, no. No, I got to do the whole stage over. Crap. Oh, I couldn't get away from him that time. Oh, he's just dancing around for glee. Stay my opinion here. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Let's go ahead and continue. Man, I gotta do that whole stage over again. I don't, I don't think I went through the whole stage, but you know what I mean. Just gotta go back and redo it. Lame. I was doing so good. I guess not. Uh. I got you, bro. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Okay. <laughs> okay. I swear, guys. I swear. Those stupid hinge pots, though. Alright. Oh, my bead escaped me. Big sad, I know. Oh, at least it came back that time. Take out this one now. That's good, homie. Take out him. Well, that was a fail. Nice. Okay. Difficult says Kess doing some war crimes is Kawais. How is this war crime? What are you talking about war crimes? I ain't do no war crimes. I beat up some evil scientist robot. How is that a war crime? Here we go, Denver. Okay. Steve, you gotta turn your autocorrect off, dude. You gotta get rid of it. What do I gotta do? Do I need to make a petition? Get Steve to turn off autocorrect? Go on change.org right now. Just, you know. Oh! Oh! Yeah, the sheep chase you. They're like the hinge bots. They suck. I 
get some, go get some more tea. I keep running out of drinks. Boy gets thirsty up in here. Tell you what. Come here, you stupid sheep. There you go. All right, so we got rid of the ram. Wait, what's over here? Nothing is over there. Okay. I'm going to continue then. There should be another ram up here soon. Hello, Mr. Ram. Expert we. Expert we killed, I dare say. Nice. Okay. Now we're pretty good. Get rid of him. Nice. Hold up. Nice. Cool. Okay, so we're down here. This guy out. Think he's good. Oh, this is the part we have to fall for the gems again. Yep. Beautiful. It is nice to give you an option to go back and do that if you miss it the first time. Oh, I see when my gem goes backwards, I throw it before I get high enough and it just bounces off that wall. That makes more sense, honestly. It would, wouldn't it? Would it work, though? Would it actually get you to turn it off if, if like, people signed it? Because <laughs> if it wouldn't work, then what's the funny point? Okay. All right, hold up. Hold up. Give it a sec. Give it a sec. Oh, it's the, the snowball bounced off the wall and got me. Will you piece of crap? Okay, well, I got it. Who gives a stink? We got him at the end of the day. It's, it's all good. It's all good. Oh wow, 15 likes, thank you guys. Appreciate you. Oh uh, man, this is fun though. I really enjoy Quace. Quace is just a fun little game, you know that? All right, get Mr. Snow, Snow Hat. Why do you think a hat, snow is a fashion statement? Probably what, it, well I'll tell you what it is guys. What happened was, he's just too dang lazy to rake some snow off his head. Well that makes sense, like, oh, I'm dead again, what? What? How? Oh, I didn't have that much health left. No, the game's right. Okay. Oh, I suck. Why well, your health heal, Cass? Yeah. I can see why you told me that now, eh, Tiff? I don't know what my issue is. I just need to chill and relax a little bit. I need to slow down. Get my health time to come back. Play a little smarter. Uh, just, I'm just too, too gung-ho for the action, you know? Alright, that's okay. We're gonna let our health heal now. This, this time we're gonna be super conservative with how we handle this sort of a thing. It's, it's gonna be great. Truly now. You'll, it, it's gonna be amazing. Wait and see. You'll love it. Yes, okay, I got it. Alright. Uh, poor Cass. You have to see for yourself. Uh -huh. Okay, Steve. Oh, stink! Stupid snowball man. Hold up. Are you beeping kidding me? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Check it. Good riddance. There is the snowball. The little snowball man. <sighs> okay, I'm good. All right, just chill for a sec. Oh, no, 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 no. No, wait till my health's a little bit higher before I try any of that crap again. Hey, Cass, have you talked to Lily recently? No, Lily and I don't talk, Steve. There's two of them! Oh, I forgot about this part. That sucks. Okay. I'm alright now, though. I'm just gonna chill. I'm just gonna chill. My health get back up. This is a great spot to chill. Hey, you know what I'm gonna do while I get my health up? I'm gonna go get some more tea, alright? Get BRB. I'm gonna go get a bottle out of the fridge. Your mom gets a bottle out of the fridge. Oh!
tea in the fridge, but at least I found some beer, so I guess that'll do. Teasing, obviously. There's tea right here. Roundy says, hey, I remember this game. Hey, Roundy. Welcome to the stream, dude. Yeah. Oasis is pretty sweet, homie. It's a pretty great, pretty great game to remember. You totally... I totally played this game like so much growing up. It's like six and seven years old as a kid. Could never get past a certain spot. Um, so I never beat it until later when I was an adult. So, so I don't know. It's pretty cool. I love Boyce a lot. It's just, it's just an overall great game. Okay, gonna have to run away from the sheep now. Hey, this is actually a good spot. I'm just gonna chill here. Actually, I got my health. I, I can take on the sheep. Come here, sheepy. There you go. Boom. Told you I'd take on the sheep. Your mom takes on the sheep. Dang, my phone nearly died. I may not be here for long, but I remember only getting to level four. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, hey, if your phone dies, I hate that for you, dude. But you can always come back and check it out later if you need to. I'm going to see if I can get permission from uh, the creator so I can make a little install guide so that other people that want to check this out can play it as well. We're on way so far. Okay. Level four then, so you got level four. So wasn't that like the very first swamp area where you were in then? Because that, I'm pretty sure that's the fourth boss if I remember correctly, which I should remember correctly seeing as I only played it about an hour ago. <laughs> uh, wow. Yeah, this is about a good three or four hour game if I remember correctly. We've been streaming for about two hours, so yeah, leave a big old like, please. Or, or don't, I guess. You know me, I gotta be the white beggar. Nice, okay. Hold up, come on, man. Nice. Oh, uh, my poor health. All right, I'm just gonna chill for a second. Maybe wait till this guy turns around. Starts walking the other way. Just pop down behind him, get him a couple of times real good. Oh, boy. Oh, he's not gonna turn around. Just keep on walking, is he? Spirit of Glaze. Hey, this game looks cool. I know, right? Amazing. Who, who would have made this? On the stream, Spirit of Glaze. Good to have you here. Oh, no. Ugh. Nice. All right. Boom. By the way, this is embarrassing, but this is the third time I'm playing this level. I failed it twice already. Once on the on the second hinge bot and once on the beeping sheep. Who dies to a sheep? I mean, come on. I mean, it's a ram, but still. Bro, well, that's sad. Hold on. Yeah, nice. Risking it. No more risking it for the biscuit. It just doesn't pay off. In the long run. You and your stupid snowball. It's the second time I've fallen for that crap. Ah, ha, ha, I got him. Okay. Cats killing poor harmless animals. Yeah, harmless. Harmless. You know what the definition of harmless is, right? Denver, it's do no harm. Do these things look look at my health? Now you can see the snow behind you can see the mountains through me. You can look through me and see those mountains on. Where the stink are you getting the no harm bit from? It's pretty smooth. I played it with Super Wagon. Yeah, it's uh. When did. Wait a minute. When did you last play it, Randy? When? What did you play it on? Spirit of Play says it's a, it's a chili sheep. Fair enough. Fair enough, homie. I, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can relate. I can relate to the chili sheep. It's like, you know, there's hot dogs, there's chili dogs. Over here. Oh yeah, that's the place to go back and get the gems. We already got the gems. It's the sheep. It's the chili sheep. <laughs> Loser. Okay, that's not, that's not nice, Cash. You can't. You can't say that about the chili sheep. Come on now. Have some class. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Come here. <laughs> oh, he knows. He knows. He knows I'm here. Yep. Don't worry, Mama Ping. I'll get your baby back. Okay. Oh. Oh no. Oh. It's these guys. It's a little fast running little man. Okay. 
Come here. Come here. There you go. All right. Come on. Come on. Back to mama. Come on. You know you want to. There you go. There you go. It's almost it's almost uh, hinge bot time again, boys. It's almost hinge bot time. All right. Gotta get the gems. Thank you. Do. Oh, I'm talking about school games. Oh, okay. Yeah. That that makes sense then, dude. Um. Yeah. Here's the thing. Here's the thing about Gwaish you have to know is the original version only runs on Windows XP or older. It will not run on newer computers. But the community created a fix for it to make it run on newer operating systems. Even Windows 11. I've personally verified this will run on Windows 11. So, exciting stuff. Compatibility be praised, I suppose. Nice. Okay, uh-huh, how convenient. That's the blob with the other two beads. We kind of read this already. Of course it is. And it's come to give them to us. I don't know, it looks awful mad. I do look pretty mad. Or constipated, one or the other. No matter, hinge bot. I don't care what happens to the blob, just gives me those beads. All right, check it, check it. Speed run destroying the, the hinge bot time. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Woo oh, stink. Whoop, oh, I bumped the microphone. Sorry about that, guys. I bumped it my foot. Oh, he's gonna come after my jacket. Oh, stink! Oh, man, he got he got them skills. He got them jumping and shooting skills, homie. Woohoo! Nice. Let's go. Let's go. What you gotta say? What you gotta say, Dr. Swag? Oh, beat up a robot. I can see that, you numbskull. See him do it again, right? Oh yeah, sorry, no secret. My heart is my disappointment is immeasurable. My day is ruined. Me and I should have met. You met the idiot scientists? No, I haven't met them. I mean we've been introduced, but you know. They're kind of my parents. It's long, long story. So. Whoop. Whoop. Yeah. Come at me now, son. Come at me. I, I dare you. Woohoo! Let's go! Let's go! I beat that one up even faster. And I'm still mad looking. Ah! 
He's a pirate now. Come on, Dr. Frog, it's a spaceship. We'll deal with this little pest later. Just waddle off. Good, good deal. Good deal, good times. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna chase him. There we go. Where'd you boys go? Oh, they're gone now. Gotta kill some more snowball wickets, like you do. Oh, this must be the secret, right? Is this the secret part? Yes, no, maybe? Wow, just in time. I know, you did get back just in time, homie. Good job. Boom, every one of them. Every one of them in one go. I could never have pulled that off as a kid. I was constantly going back there and trying to get the rest of them. My brother could, he was good at that. Which is crazy since he was two years younger than me, but. No, I remember actually I used to have to get him to fight the King Wicked for me. I just couldn't handle the King Wicket. I don't know why. I really don't. I can handle the hinge bots fine, but not the King Wicket. Which makes no sense. I mean, they basically work exactly the same, but I don't know. But the funny part is, I told him that the other day when he was over here hanging out. I was like, hey, do you remember you used to have to beat this for me? Because we were actually playing this. And he's like, no, I don't remember that at all. And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I do. It's a very painful memory for me. So, I'm teasing you. Uh, here's a secret. How do we get to this delicious looking uh, setup over here? Yeah, how would a fellow go about getting over there? I don't see any way to do it from the way I've been so far. What the hell? Hold on. That's weird. For some reason, the up button wasn't working. Okay, we're good now. I'm still doing it. There we go. Another snowball, man. Whoop, got him. Oh, there just goes half my health. Goodness, okay. Let's go back up here. curious when we're going to see the abominable snowman again. Oh, boy. We, I, we haven't actually seen him yet. Oh, there's a ping one up there. One of the snow wickets is guarding it. Okay, we're good so far. Good deal. Didn't fall too bad. So I can at least jump up here. There you go. And what happens if we go back this way? Try walking in from right side. Oh, from the right side of that little gym area down here? Let's go back and see it. Where is the little gym area? I think it's actually down below here. Oh, wait, here's this guy. He fell down here earlier, didn't he? He most certainly did. Try walking in from right side. Let's try it. I'm glad you pointed that out. I probably should have noticed, but I didn't. Logan Bonds, welcome. He says, hey, I am back. Well, I'm glad you are, dude. Welcome to the stream. Okay. Can beads break objects? Uh, I've yet to see it, unless you count breaking the hinge bots count. But I've yet to see them actually break terrain or anything, if that's what you're referring to. Uh, yes, I'm going the right way. Wasn't sure. I was like, am I? correct way. Maybe we should have been going that way. But now nah, we good. Get that platforming on lockdown. Oh, I think we're almost done with this level, believe it or not. Sure looks that way. Oh, there he is. Hello. Oh, I don't want to go over there, otherwise it'll be trapped. Okay, let's go over here. Let's take you back to Mama Pink, shall we? There we go. There you go, Mama Pink. Nice. 
Nice. Good deal. So, 937 gems in total. And there you go, boys. Stage two complete. That one took a hot minute. Of course, I guess kind of... I guess I did kind of keep messing it up, didn't I? Okay. Frosty Zone, stage three. I love it. Jim following part. Boom. Boom. Beautiful. And I'm gonna go up here. Alrighty. Oh, I, I don't have I have very weeny health now. You know what? I just realized that I'm just gonna go chill down here for a second. Let's just chill. Wait for our health to come back. Stages are in this game? Uh, 12? Maybe? I want to say 12. I'm actually not sure, dude. I think, well, no, that's not right, is it? Uh, 12 plus maybe three boss battle ones, so 15. I think there's 15 stages. That sounds right. And we're currently on like stage. Three plus four plus three. We're on like stage ten, I think. I'm doing all that math in my head, so take that. Take that for what it's worth, but I think that's correct. I think there are 15 stages of the game, I'm sure. Spirit of voice could tell us, but but yeah. Okay. Let's go over here. stand here and look at one another. So what's she doing? Really? You got lost, huh? Very Pickle will do that. Yep, that's about right. So 15? Okay, good. Glad I was, glad I got that right then. Pretty bad about forgetting stuff. Like you do. 
Oh no, it's like three snowball guys and a sheep. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out. I can't handle this. Nope. I'm not healthy enough. Whoop. Right, I guess I don't have any choice, do I? Yep, oh, I got him. GG. Hope that sheep don't see me for a moment. Just stay nice and uh, obscure over here. The nice part is when you're kind of transparent, you blend in with the background a little bit, so I don't see you so much. That's totally the strategy, right? Merrick Slovak, welcome, dude. He says, hello, gentlemen. Hello to you as well, my friend. Welcome to stream. We're playing some Gwaze. Oh, uh, hell, I gotta fight these two stupid sheep at once. Oh, never mind, never mind. They all, they all popped. The sheep popped, Merrick. I, got, I was able to pop my sheep, aren't you proud? Welcome to stream, though, homie. Hold up. Let's go up here. Ooh, there's another one. I don't think you can see me. Or she. I don't think rams are. Or, sh or sheep, but you know. Oh my gosh, why are there so many rams? Okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Whoa, came charging at me. Oh, I got this, dang. Beautiful, all right. Good deal, homies. I wanna figure out what's up top here. Jim and a little blue guy. Okay. Cool. Uh, I guess we're going to go up here now. Wait. Oh, we have to go up there? That's a big old jump. And it's for a bouncing ability. I don't think we'd make it otherwise. Oh, stink. There we go. we've got so many other projects and stuff that I'm working on. I just don't see that happening. November, maybe. If you don't mind waiting that long. Just think, yeah, we'll do Outlast. We'll do Outlast. DLC. Do Outlast 2. That'd be super fun. I don't know why I thought that would work. Oh, wait, here's another ping one. Ooh, do I take this back to the same ping one, Mother? Or is it a... No, it'd be a different one. That one was way too far back. That would not make any sense. This one's got to be a different Sure we can. I've gotten pretty good at fighting these sheep, I feel like. There you go. Hold up. Over here. Hello, sir. Excuse me, I'm escorting this penguin home. Oh, there's another one. Probably its little sister. There you go. Now I got two penguins following me around. This is lovely. Where have you hidden their mama, you stupid sheep? Dang, damn it. Nice, got him. Okay, so the sheep's dead. Hello, Mama Ping. Do you exist? Hello. Oh, yeah, there it is. it is. Here you go. Nice. Now I gotta get twice the gems, right? One would hope. Alright. The new game has save points? Oh, good. That's good. That way you don't have to start every um, zone over again if you lose. I, I take it. That'd be nice. Okay, looks like a nice game. It is. Waste is super fun, Merrick. Okay, hey Merrick, let me ask you a question, buddy. Let me ask you an important question, and I know that you're the dude to ask since you're into strategy games, right? Let's say that your boy Cass, for whatever reason, okay, reason's not important, 
Let's just say that for whatever reason, your boy cast decided, hey, I really want to get into strategy games. I want to play some strategy games. I want to get gung-ho into it. What would be the best game? What would you have me start with? What would be a good strategy game? See if we can take Mr. Snow, Snow uh, Wicked out. Can I just drop down on him? That would be so much better. Well, I can, but results may vary, I suppose. There we go. Not much health, but I'll take it. Nice, I got him. Okay, so we got about half our health. I'm gonna go down here. Keep going. Oh, abominable snowman again. Ooh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no. Okay, we got him. We can get him, but you know what I'm saying. I think they, I think when they make that metal sound, it means it doesn't count. So they want to kind of get him when he's surprised and isn't putting out his defenses, probably. Speed stays back there, just dings it a few times. Then you're good. I, I thought I left the gym up in the air. I guess I didn't. Okay. We can call Battle Last Trials together when it comes out next year. Cool, that'd be fun. <coughs> hmm. Excuse me. Okay. I know exactly what you're gonna say. Don't say it. Don't say it. Never mind. I, I heard it. I heard it. I heard it. Okay, you don't have to. You don't have to say it. Uh, among all RTS games I have played, I would say that Command and Conquer Red Alert 2 might be the easiest to new friend I've played, counting both single player and multiplayer. Okay, well that's cool. It's funny, too. Even though it was an open-ended question, anyone was welcome to answer. It's funny because I actually had it mostly directed at Merrick, and Merrick never weighed in on the topic at all. I don't know how to feel about that. I'm teasing. That was helpful, though, hey, Tim. Thanks for the in input. Also, uh, Steve, I haven't played Total War, but I have an IRL friend named Ralph. He's actually the one who brought me that sandwich that I was eating. Uh, he was over here earlier. He plays Total War. He seems 
games to quite like this game, so... I think I have one of them on the Epic Games Store, too. Total War Shogun or something like that. Uh, Spirit of Voice says StarCraft 1 and 2 are good RTS games to start with, I think. Okay, cool. I'll check that out, too. Thanks. I also want to um, play some Tiny Bill games eventually, because I like the kind of games they put in. Their games are really interesting. So that would be kind of fun. Did I miss anything? I felt like I was missing a whole bunch of stuff. Like I passed something. I guess not. No, this is just all area we've been at before. Okay, nope. I'm doing this right. You can quit get second guessing yourself, Cash. You good. Oh, never mind. Never mind. You not so good. I'm out. I'm out. No abdominable snowman for me. Thank you. Uh, okay, goodbye forever. I'm just gonna chill here for a sec. Just gonna chill and our health go back. We didn't really lose that much. I got a little ahead of myself, unfortunately. Problem is, eventually, I get too far, the gym automatically comes back to me. Nice, we got him. Okay. Good deal. What else? You got, you got, you got any other Indomitable Snowman for me? Yep, one. He's got, a, he's got one of them for me. I'm out. Oh, this guy, this guy's running past me. And then he turned around, he's like, wait a minute. He's behind me, I can hear him. And he turned around and he died. Stokes, that's called the cycle of life, ladies and gentlemen. It's big, big science and all that stuff, you know. I gotta stop, okay. Gotta quit being so annoying. Oh, I can just, he's just standing there. I can just perpetually. I think as long as he's in that snowball launching mode, unless he's in walking mode, he's not gonna get damaged. Man, this guy is hard to, oh, I'm at one health. Oh no, I'm gonna totally lose and start all over again if I don't backtrack a little. Yeah, let's just go back here and chill for a sec. Woo, okay. Oh man, that got intense. Raid Shadow Legends. StarCraft 2 is also a good starting point. StarCraft 1 is too clunky in my opinion. I hate the 12 unit selection limit in StarCraft 1. Okay, interesting. Steve says, please leave and don't mention Raid Shadow Legends again. If you want to keep your mod privilege. <laughs> uh, good starting point. Total War Games Medieval 2 or Total War Shogun 2. Cool. Well, that's good to know. Thank you guys for all the helpful input. Really, really good to hear. Okay. Come on. Come on, homie. Yes, we got him. G stinking G, son. Okay. From here, hey, look at that. We're almost done with the stage. Isn't the boss fight after this? Yes, it is. All right, you boys ready? Because here it comes. All right, I've finished eating my sandwich. And I don't want it to go bad, because it was kind of good, so I think I'm going to put it in the fridge. So, BRB, we will be right back, and we'll be doing the boss fight. So, don't go nowhere. Or do. I don't really care. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Most PvP games I've found have toxic communities. PvE, not so much. They're usually pretty helpful and nice. Fortnite Save the World has one of the nicest communities I've ever been a part of. Or at least it did. I don't know now. The game's pretty dead at this point, unfortunately. Dr. Swags is a ha! Ooh, check out the spaceship. That's pretty cool looking. How nice. Her little creation seems to be following us. Her mom seems to be following me. It's time to get up those beads, little blob. You're becoming quite the annoyance. We'll send all we've got. I don't know if this is such a good idea. Silence, you coward. Fish bots. I'm gonna throw four bots at me, right? I'm gonna send two at me the first time, but then, then two more, probably. We all, all they, he said, he said we're gonna throw all we've got at him. They only brought six bots with last well, Six is actually quite a bit if I'm being honest. Let's be honest for a second here. Six is a good bit. Okay, I'm just gonna chill back here for a sec. Very clever trick I learned from the boss fight in, uh, in Glace, in this stage, 
is that you don't have to go back for round two immediately. You can just chill back up back here and heal up if you want to. It's not like the first one. ATIF says I'm gonna go now. Bye, Cass. Bye, ATIF. Thanks for being here, homie. I'll see you at the top. Alright. Are we good? We are good. Alright, let's go. Oh, crud! I'm out. Oh, hell. Okay, we got him. How am I doing? Not so great at the moment. There's one left, right? Yeah, let's just chill for a sec, let our health come back. I don't know where he is, but I know he's over there. Oh, but second, guys. Let's chill. Let's chill. Hold on. There he is. Oh, no! Nice! Beautiful! GG, boys. Oh, there's another one! Oh! He blew up and he had the gym, yes! Or the bead, excuse me. What the? What happened? Now he's got another bead! Ah, dumb faulty hinge bots. Let's get out of here. There he goes. Waddle waddle. We still have one bead and that's all we need for now. We'll be back. Next time we'll burn down the entire stinking planet. Bye-bye. There they go, boys. I'm running away. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm running this way. Alright, now what do you suppose happened next? Whew! We barely got away. True. Ha ha ha. You're such a wimp. What do you think he's going to do? Grab onto this ship and chase us back to the lamp? Most epic moment in gaming history. Right here, son. Right here. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Alrighty. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you pursue someone ruthlessly, okay? Great dating advice you can take for the, okay, no, please. <laughs> please don't do that. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, okay. Uh. <laughs> mm. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now back in the laboratory. We are in lab zone now, or birthplace, as it would appear. <coughs> and now we have three gems, which is even more awesome. These only take one hit each, look, check it. One hit each and you're good, nice. There you go. <coughs> mm, excuse me, boys. All right, we are good. Okay, I gotta, I gotta jump up here again. Hold on. Then we have to, then we have to do this. I guess. Apparently, since I'm not good enough at jumping back and forth regularly. All right, there you go. Now we did it. I wonder how we threw that one over him, but we did him somehow. Oh, nice! I got that one. I wasn't even trying. That's even better. Nice. It would have been kind of cool if, like, the beads had different special abilities, but that probably would have just gotten too confusing. Oh, goodness. Actually, I can see that both going really good and really not so good. Oh, yeah, the yellow things. I forgot about those. Those give you, like, bouncing abilities, right? That's right. That's how you get back up there. 
Now hold up. Nice. All right, check it, boys, check it. Boom, son. By the way, we've almost got enough to unlock uh, one of those special upgrades for the specials menu, so that'll be fun. We'll have to play for a couple of stages first before we get that far. This is a weird Doom mod. I know, right, Denver? It's so weird. Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it weird? It's, it's Doom mod like no other, my friend. There you go. Oh, not only does that give us a... Uh, the jump that we need, it refuels our little jump juice. Well, that's kind of cool. Nice. Beautiful. Okay, kind of messy with landing, but that's okay. The only thing with these little guys robots. I don't know what these are, but I think my brother and I growing up, we always thought of them as vacuum cleaners. Because they look like little vacuum cleaners, right? They're flat on the bottom. What else would they be used for if not to vacuum? You just gotta use your head with those sorts of things. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. Uh, they're kind of like the the blue sheep, or whatever those things were from the frosty mountains. But, uh, unfortunately... Or, excuse me, fortunately, they take one hit instead of two to destroy. Making further, further solidifying the theory that they're vacuum cleaners. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, the little lightning shooter things. That sound it makes when it's charging up, when it goes shh, like that? There's a, the library near my house. When they scan a, a book, it kind of sounds a little like that, which is weird. I remember growing up, I was like, oh, that sounds like the scanner at the library. I was, I was a very forward-thinking seven-year-old, if you can't tell. It's gonna get a, a gem every jump. Nice. Nice. There you go. Nice. Anything else? I don't know where the random beeping sounds are coming from. Find that computer there. Woo! Let's go. Nice. 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 We got it before he even shot his little lightning bolts out anymore. Grab all these. Thank you. What else we got down here? We got uh, we got these guys. Nice. What is this thing? I don't know what. Oh, it's charging. I don't think you can get it. Oh, no, he got me. Oh, uh, lame. So if you can get them before they see you and start charging, you're good. No! Come on, dude! Oh, we got him. Nice, we got him too. As long as he doesn't charge, I think you're good. Nice, got those. in this laboratory. It's like, no wonder these guys fail 5,000 experiments. All you got is some little vacuum cleaners and some little laser man. It's like, come on, that's not hard. I could have done that. For goodness sake. Well, I tried. Stink, he got me again. Dang it, I gotta get out of this spot. That's a bad spot. I 
can just see you for forever there. Okay, I got one good hit on him. Nice. Okay, we got him. What is that? It looks like some moon rover up there. Oh, it shoots it shoots lasers and stuff like the hitchbots do. Oh no, I'm stay I'm staying down here. I'm not moving. I'm good. Goodness gracious, he's, he's hiding those gems too. How many shots you have to get out of? Probably about, I'm gonna guess like three or four. Going out of uh, past predictions and stuff. Nice! Okay, we got him. Of course there's a little laser thing, so they're done now. Good deal. 1337. Oh, and there's the end. Good deal, ladies and gentlemen. GG. So we got one. We got stage one down. We got stage two to go. I'm guessing after this stage, we'll probably have enough gems to unlock the upgrade. So we'll get to use that on stage three, probably. Get to uh, unlock Cactus Boys. Which, let's see, what was the, what were the perks of that? I think you damage enemies when you touch them, because you're a cactus. And also, I think your health regenerates a little faster, so that'll be nice. Be very helpful. Nice. Good deal. Places you can go back and forth up here. Uh, oh, never mind. I already did that. Map down here and shoot him real quick. That'll get me. Oh, I did. Nice. Okay, what else is there? Let's see. There's these two over here. Oh, I'm getting really good at that jumping bit. I can't even lie. That was pretty cool. Nice. Okay. Well, let me get some speed again. Try that one more time. Hold up. Yeah, that, that sort of works, I guess. Okay. Alright, we're gonna hop up here. Maybe if we can get rid of the lightning. There we go. I got hit a couple of times, but that's okay. It's all good. We got him. Not a whole lot else matters at the end of the day. As long as you get him. Whew. I tried, guys. I really tried. Nice. Yes. Got him. Beautiful. Take him out. Nice. It's going to be difficult to get him because we have to get out of sight for it to do any good. Yes, there you go. Yeah, it's all about maintaining that distance, you know? Nice, okay. Well, they got a couple of shots in on them, but... I don't think it was enough. Up just like uh, a hinge bomb, quite honestly. That was kind of crazy. Nice, there's another one right up there. If we can get him. We we'll have to jump up there, aren't we? Yeah, I'm afraid of that. Okay, yeah, we did it. GG. Oh, we got, oh, we got hurt twice. Never mind. His laser came back to get me. those robots. Hold up a second. And I'm gonna try that again. Oh, nice. Oh, wait a minute. This'll work. Oh, yeah. Eh, that'll do. That does the job. Uh, we're gonna have to 
try to figure out how to get that guy at some point. Got about half my health left, boys. How am I gonna get this guy? No, oh, like that, okay. Super basic, one at a time shots, I'm thinking. No, got too close that time. Too close. just because of the sound it makes. It's perfect. It's the perfect name. That's how you know. That's how you know it's a good one. Okay. Uh, my gem just killed something without me even attempting for it, too. That's funny. I don't even know how that happened. But I'll take it. Just threw a gem down there. Took out an enemy. It's an unknown enemy. But that apparently had some gems in it. Good deal. Certainly won't complain. Nice. Uh, wow, this lab's big. Dang. There we go. Three gems, son. Got that. Oh, no. Yep, they came back for me. Okay, now we're good. So I half our health left. Uh-oh. I'm a little nervous about this. Where's this gonna take me? Go up here. All right, now if I remember correctly, I think stage two of the lab zone was actually where I got stuck as a, as a kid. Like when I played this originally at seven years old, I think I got stuck somewhere in this level and could never get past it. And I'll point out where if I recognize it, but I'll have to check and see. Wait, can I use this at all? Uh, I just look like something you can interact with. I guess not. I'm out. I'm out. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yep, nope. Can't do that. Uh, there you go. That did not work, unfortunately. How about now? Now it works. Nice. Gotta go over here and grab all these gems. Oh, he fell. He fell. He's on the ground now. Nice. We got him. Uh, I feel like I made a mistake falling down over here. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, well, he fell down too, dang. Well, how is the fella supposed to go in? Uh, oh, like that. That makes sense. when it's in charging mode. Goodness gracious. Look at that. That's crazy. Oh, I got one good hit on him. That's nice. Yeah, the 
because the charging mode is just at a time where it's just like, oh man, it's a pain to take this guy out. Hold up. Man, right before he shoots those lasers would be the ideal time to get up and hit him. If you could. Nice, we got him. Didn't even matter. Oh, if I gotta chill for a second. Hold up. Uh, hold on. No, that did not work. There you go, that worked. Oh, sweet. I gotta, I gotta stop. Let's just go down here for a second. Let's just chill. Chill with our health. Can we get it back? Here I am. Come to me, Jim. Uh, yeah, we gotta go back up there and get past those guys. Hold up. There we go. Got both of them. Good deal. I think this is the part where I failed, right? No? No, never mind. No, it isn't. Oh, are you just gonna perpetually do that? Oh, okay, dude. Okay, that's fine. I don't think I have any choice but to go back here and make sure I get rid of them. Dang. I did not have many options there. Goodness gracious. Hold up. Hold up a second. Oh, I, I again destroyed something else somewhere. Nice. Okay, we got three gems. Gracious. Ah. We got so far, too. That's the most disappointing part. Like, we had, like, a, a, another hundred worth of gems. These little, like, chargers. Uh oh, I suck. Okay, that's okay, though. That's okay. We'll try it again. Nice. Uh, right when I thought I was the platforming genius, it turned out I sucked. Okay, it's not that big of a deal, though. Hey, at least now I kind of know what I'm in for. I'll probably play it a little bit better. Of course, I had to do that Snow Mountain Stage 2 twice. Why is it only Stage 2 for me? What's it with it with second stages? Very odd. Oh, well. Grab this. Thank you, sir. Any more gems for me down here, gentlemen? They do, actually, but I'm going to go up here first. I don't die, etc. But no, I think now, now would be a very good time to, uh, stink. Okay. Now would be a very good time to just chill and let my health come back. Here's what I'm gonna do, guys. Check it. I'm just gonna go down. So it goes down. There you go. Beautiful strategies. I do say so myself. There we go. Got him. Yeah, this one's hard. Oh, Rage Knight says, hey, hello, Rage Knight. Welcome to stream, homie. 
We're doing some glace, as you can very well see at one point. In the lab zone right now, trying to take this guy out. It's not, it's not working so hot, though. Chicken Warren, he says, I would have beaten the game by now. I'm really tired and weak. Oh, I'm sorry you're tired and weak. But yet, in spite of that, you still think you would have beaten the game by now. Okay, I will have you know, all right? Three hours is perfectly reasonable amount of time to have spent on the game. For goodness sake. Hell, most of my streams are longer than three hours. Well, then again, most of my streams I'm not playing side scrolling platformers, so, you know, there's that. I'm teasing. Okay. Okay, let's go up here and take out this last guy. Got all my health back now and everything. Like I said, now that I have a better idea of how the enemies work and everything, I can play a lot better. Hold up a second. I guess that's fair. Cats can sure last a hot minute. What? What? Excuse me? You wanna you wanna try that again, Chicken Lord? Kess can sure last a hot minute. What the hell? What does that mean? Oh, I, I ruined it. I ruined it forever. Okay. Uh, He screwed me up. Hold up. My, my timing on aiming these beads is not very good. Oh, we got him! Yay! Okay, son. That's how we do it. Let's go. Get these guys out. Oh, my. That's a lot of them. I had three beads, but still. That's still a lot. Really, dude? Really? You had to stand on the top part? You couldn't have fallen back down? Goodness gracious. Oh. What's wrong with what I said? Oh, that was completely unintentional. Wow, I'm sorry. No, I know. I know, Chicken Lord. I know. I know that you didn't mean for those two things to be said together. That's what made it funnier. It's like, I, I could have played this game already. I'm real weak and tired. Oh, that's funny, though. Okay, let's go up here. Take, the, yeah. Take this guy out. We can. Hold on. I think I'm gonna take another puff off of the pin. Thank you, sir. Steve says, I don't think Cass is ever living in that 
He's ever whipping the is that a doom down the is that a doom yeah. yeah. I'm really not. <laughs> you can tell. What is Nights in the Dreams about? Nights in the Dreams would be a fun one to do. You'll kind of get to play it during Doom, as Sonic Doom has it, as a mini game. Oh. Well, cool. Well, there you go then. I'm assuming that's like a little platforming game, right? In fact, yeah, this is where I failed last time. Remember, we were taking out multiple little ones of these guys. If, it's, if it wasn't right here, it was close to right here, that's for sure. There you go, I got him. Ah, uh, one right there, because I, I got to this part earlier. Pretty short. Just past this. The next area is the one where I failed. Oh yeah, it was this guy. This guy gave me a bunch of damage last time. There you go. Yeah, we're good now. Or maybe not. I can never remember where I left off and where I didn't. It's a hard thing to remember sometimes, except for when it's not. But when you imagine it is. Okay, yeah, now I don't have much health, so now would be a good time to chill. At least for a second. Does one go about doing this? Oh, hold up. Ah! There it is. Okay, we got it. I knew we could do it. I had faith in us. Wow. Okay. Gotta wait till he gets the further side of that box, I guess. Nice. One more time. We got him. Okay. Uh... Nice. Okay. Good deal. <laughs> uh, is there anything else? I think that's it. This where I found last time? I'm still trying to remember the origin of the failure. I think it was back here, yeah. That had to have been. Probably because of goofy stuff like this. Hold on. Come on, dude. I almost had it. So what I'm hearing is that the Sonic, is that this Nights in a Dreams thing is like Superman 64 if it was good, right? That's gonna be my takeaway from it anyway. I, I still gotta find the double guys to take out. Maybe we already did that, I don't remember. Guys are just annoying as hell. How am I gonna get him? I got one good hit on him. Alright, I'm out. I'm out. I'm going back here till my health comes back. I'm not worried about it. Hmm. It's funny, in the US, the Sega Saturn flop was kind of the power compared to the N64 and the PlayStation. Why is that funny? Oh, it was good for 2D games, others were good for 3D. 
I guess that's to be expected, really. Uh, he still can't get him because he still gets in the lightning mode. If I'm close by. He can stay in lightning mode for forever, really. As long as there's an enemy close to him. Let's see if I can go past him and, and get to the other guys real quick. Yeah, that didn't work. I just—I had an idea there for a strategy, but it just it didn't work. Uh, how am I gonna get this guy? Come on, I think I just need one more shot on him, right? Maybe just get him with a nice little accidental hit, like whoops, you know? Nice, I got him. There we go. Okay. We got him. Just had to put some distance between him, I guess. Nice. Eh, uh, that was not quite so nice. Oh, there's an arrow. That means it's almost over. The stage, I think, right? Yeah, something like that. Okay. So I guess it wasn't stage two where we where I got stuck. I guess it was stage three. Maybe it was stage two and I just didn't get stuck this time because I knew what I was doing. I remember when I was a kid, I got stuck somewhere. Oh, we won! Oh, hey, look, I got wand posters now. It says warning. Sweet. They got me in the computer system. Let's go. Oh! Uh-oh. Here we go, boys. Yeah, I must have I must have gotten past wherever I got stuck as a kid. Okay, if you're falling while you throw the beat, it will go downward. Oh, you told me that. That's right. Okay, and because it didn't really have a main series, Sonic title, but in Japan, it's better than both the N64 and the PlayStation. Interesting. I think you can jump and throw a little I should have done that. When it comes to Doom ports for consoles, the PlayStation was the best one. A lot of people have said that, Steve. You especially, but I know a couple other people have said that. So much that people didn't even know that Sonic is in Japan, though Sonic's the company mascot. Yeah, I mean, that seems like a no-brainer. Sonic's in Japan, PlayStation's in Japan, Nintendo is. Most, most video game companies I found in that kind of, like, sphere are Japan-based. Uh, sir, we have an intruder. That's not good. What? It's some kind of little purple blob. Dr. Frog, check the computer. Yeah. Yep, that's the one. It's him, it's him, he's coming for us. Hinchbot, bring the lamp to full alert. I want that blob squashed. Yes, sir. Da, da, da. I think we just have two stages left, right? We're all gonna die! Run away! Come back here, you moron. That blob just won't quit. Time for plan B. Plan B, everybody! Oh, excuse me. Woo! Somehow the SNES version has more stages than the PSX one. Warning sounds alright. Okay, wow. I was not as prepared for this as I thought I was. Um, hold up a second. Good deal. Okay. That only hurt just a little bit. There. I don't know. Actually, yes, I do. There you go. Nice. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Nice. Um, do we go here or do we go up? We go here and grab these gems. Okay. So now we have to keep climbing. Uh-oh. Oh, that actually kind of screwed up my jump there for a second. That's not good. 
that gave me some more jump ability back. That's about it. So what's up here, though? I don't think there's anything up here, actually. I think that's just it. Maybe it's my imagination. I don't know. I actually don't know. Okay. I don't think... I think that was just, like, coming down from somewhere else, though. But I don't know for certain. I don't see anything to hold on to, though. And you're almost out of electric juice when you get up that high. Electric juice. That doesn't sound right. There's more enemies now. That's fine. It's, who doesn't love, who doesn't love more enemies? Yeah, well, that's just, that's just lovely. Nice. Okay, we got him. Nice. Okay. Okay, let's continue. Oh, I guess you do go further up. I was wrong. You do have to go further up than that. Uh, hold up. Give myself that charge back. Hold on. Boy. That's weird. Why does the SNES version have more stages than the PlayStation one? Oh, that is weird. Why is that? Seems odd. Oh, yeah, there is more to this than I originally thought. Okay, do we have enough charge to get up this hop? We do. Good deal. Oh, no! I fell all the way back down! Dang, nab it! I got that so high, too! Oh, man, that sucks. Okay. Try that again. Good music though, dang. Like for real, it is peppy. This is super peppy. Okay. Build different, there's a video on it. Sweet. Nice. Barely operating on the on the edge there. Okay, so I'm going to go all the way back here. Go ahead and land like that. Am I going to have enough to get this high? Eh, probably not. Maybe. Yep, never mind. We did it. All right, I'm going to wait for my juice to charge back, and we're going to go uh, see if we can get up there, that other side. I can't lie, this is kinda a little more tricky than I gave it credit for. Oh, never mind, we did it. Nice, okay. Oh man, I love jumping around like this though. This is satisfying, a stink. Nice, oh no, it's him, bye bye. As long as he didn't get close enough to know to set up his electric thing, I can get him. that one more time. Oh, stink. I screwed it up again. Uh, what would happen if... Oh, that doesn't take you very high, does it? It is not. But we can charge jump. Do that. There you go. security. That's great. Okay, we gotta worry about half our health, though, so you need to be careful. Look for these little vacuum bots. Okay. Yeah, I think this is actually the part where I got stuck in as a kid, believe it or not. Maybe. No, it wasn't. This part I didn't get stuck in. It was a different part. 
It has to be in this stage, though. I'll point it out. I'll point it out. I remember I got, I got so stuck in one part and I could never figure out how to get past it. The whole time I was just forgetting one of the basic game mechanics, but we'll get to that. Oh, hey, I have 1,500 gems now, by the way. I can, up, I can unlock the upgrade now if I want to, which would be super cool. I have to start the level over again. I'm not doing that. That super jump sound is getting annoying. Really? I'm sorry to hear that, dude. Jighorn says he doesn't mind it. Okay, fair enough. Uh, SNES version is still the most unoptimized. Now you're thinking with portals. Exactly! You gotta think with portals. Don't you just hate unoptimized versions of games, though? Like, for real? Uh, that's part of the problem with that. But you know what I like even less than unoptimized games? Unoptimized bombs. Okay, no. No, let's not. Let's not do that. Let's not do that, yes. Come on, man. I almost had it. Come on. Yes, let's get it. All right. Ooh, crap. He does not, he does not even give me a moment to breathe, goodness. Okay, I gotta, I gotta pause for a second. Dang nabbit! These stupid things, hold up. Oh, I'm just gonna chill over here. You can't see me, I can get my health back. Him and his stupid lasers though, my gosh. I played a whole bunch of Looney Tune games for the Genesis when you were younger. Real, that's kinda cool. Okay, good, good job. Good job, homie. Now I can just chill for a sec, take a puff out of my pipe. That's not a pipe, it's a, it's a pin, but you know, you know what I mean. Wow, we've been streaming for three hours already. Can you guys believe that? Thank you for 21 likes, by the way. Oh, no, there's more, there's more. There's more hinge spots. I am not ready for this. I do not have the health necessary to take on this challenge. No, please, no, please. I've been being so good. Oh, hell no. Oh, and now there's more. No, come on. I could have jumped back up to safety. That's my own fault. I got ahead of myself. I got ahead of myself. Didn't wait till I had full health. No. Uh, also, I need to. I need to. I need to just start that over. That's what I need to do. Do I have enough gems to buy this? I do not. That sucks. I have, I have ten gems less than what I needed. Lame. No, I, I did it again. I keep missing the gems. Pull it together, Cass. All right, check it, boys. Check it. Yeah, that's my next uh, portal-related project, Steve. You can kind of count on that being a thing in November, I'd imagine. In fact, most stuff that I was doing at one point in time, but I'm not currently working on it, kind of see being a November project. Okay. Others are actually very optimal. Since an object with more mass has the ability to go further when launched, this info, we can assure that Mother's on the optimal project. Projectile. She has reached terminal velocity. That's terrible, Chicken Horn. It's funny, but it's terrible. Nice. Okay. Hello, sir. I'm in you forever. Oh, that's not very nice, Gus. It's really not. Thank you for noticing. Okay, I gotta get past this hard jumping sequence down here again, don't I? I guess it's not really that hard. Making it a lot more harder than it was. Let's go in here and grab this. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use this. We're gonna go up here. Or not. Okay. And then we're gonna go. Are you serious? You stupid garbage. Hold up. Oh my gosh. If you do not think things through, these stage levels can be can be very um, 
punishing. There's the word. I, was trying to, I knew there was a word. I was looking for it. Okay. Let's go up here. Here. Nice. Nice. Okay. Your man, you're all you're all done. You got nothing on me. Uh, my marketing teacher asked us if there was a particular restaurant or place of business that we just didn't go back to because we were fed up or something. Everyone was still old and quiet, and then I casually say, "I don't like Ohio." Oh, I see. I got. I, that's the problem, Chicken Ward. I'll look over there and I'll read like one of your sentences. And, and miss the one before it, and then it's totally without context. Uh, that happens more often than you can think. And they were simple prototypes. Oh, beep. Oh, it's this thing again. I recognize this. This is what screwed me up so bad last time. I gotta kill this guy. I have gotta kill this guy, because that was what screwed up my health and then made me lose against the hinge bots. Okay, now I'm gonna let my health go back to full. Uh, yeah, they were simple prototypes what Henry Stickman would become. Only one was actually interactive. I thought it was like one of those old stickman animations during the 2000s. Oh, okay. Well, I'll check them out. Oh, I did it again. I forgot. I forgot to let my health go back. Hold up. Let me 
make sure every single bar is back up in place. And then I realized I could have said your mom's house. Oh. That would have been a great thing to say. Like, dude, for real? That would have been amazing. Okay, so there's two of them. Let's remember that. Let's remember there's two of these guys, okay? There you go. Still got half my health. Alright, let's just chill. Let's just chill a sec, let our health come back. Then we'll go fight a couple more of these guys. Oh, I remember I was just running, trying to get away from inch bots. My health was so low. Alright, nice and gradually move forward. Yeah, that's the pit. There's another hinge bot, bot at the bottom, I think. And then my marketing teacher read my mind and said that. It was great. Oh! He's honestly a funny guy. Good for him. I'm sorry you're feeling poorly, Chicken Lord. I remember you saying you were under the weather today. I hope you get to feeling better, homie. He doesn't even see me. Stupid hinge bot. Ah, ha, ha, loser! Okay, imagine being that big of a losery loser face. But I can heal up, he can't, because he's a stupid robot. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. All right. Okay, well that was bad timing on my part. Here we go. Okay, now I have my health. Oh yeah, this right here. This is where I failed as a kid. You know why? Because I could never jump up high enough to get that yellow thing, all right? So when I was like seven years old, I was playing this, and I thought, I thought the only way to get the yellow thing was to jump up in a straight line like this, but you can never jump that high, and eventually, you're gonna run out of your little electric juice, right? So just as a seven, six-year-old kid, my brother, me, my dad, none of us could ever get past this part. And when I hit up Tommy Missick and told him, he was like, yeah, a lot of people get stuck at this part. Do you know what the correct thing to do is, guys? The correct thing is to bounce off the walls back and forth until you get that high. I found that way out later when I was like 18 years old because I looked it up on YouTube and saw somebody play, and I was like, that's how you do that. So uh, let's see if I can do it right now. Yeah, you see? I, I was doing it right the first time. Let's see if I can do that again. Hold up. There you go. You have to, you have to, you have to bounce back and forth, guys. You just, you have to bounce back and forth each time. You have to turn, turn it around as soon as you start facing another direction. You'll see what I mean. It's not something you do at any other point in the game. At least not really. Like, it sets up the basic, the basic gameplay idea before then, but that's the first time you ever do it quite like that, which I think is why so many people got stuck in the game at that part, including yours truly. But give me some, give me some slack. I was seven years old. I was a kid. And then I turned eight. My parents, not my parents. Yeah, my parents. They were like, they were like, oh, we don't like you playing this game anymore. It makes you too, it makes you too, uh, Hyper or something. So yeah, my uh, I think it, it was less me and more my brother. Right? No, it was both of us. So yeah, my parents were not my parents. I think you say my parents. It was mostly my mother. I don't think my dad really cared. My mother was very anti glaze So sorry, Tommy. My mother hates your game. I don't have to tell you. Probably not anymore. If she saw it now, she'd probably think it was charming compared to most of what I play. <laughs> I think she'd probably like this better than Doom or uh, Team Fortress 2. Actually, maybe not. I don't think she likes side scrollers. I think she doesn't like even them as a concept. Don't ask me why. Mothers are weird, right? My body is achy like I got the flu, but with no other symptoms other than a slight sore throat. Poor fellow, I'm sorry to hear that. It's a moment in Sonic 3 when I got stuck in as a kid with a really simple and easy solution. What was it? What was it, Chicken Lord? Now, now you got me all curious, homie. Also, before you guys ask, yes, I am upgrading the cactus place after we finish the stage. I'm gonna wait for a second. That guy's... That guy's way too huge of a pain. 
There you go. That's how we'll do it until we get our health back. Oh, I did not throw that far. Oh, wait! I'm, in, I'm a genius! Check it! Check it! Oh, no, oh, I didn't get to show you guys my genius. I was just going to keep it there just by moving it like that. It was going to be great, but oh well. Oh well. Okay. Guess we just didn't need to. That would have been cool, though. Oh, I guess I could do that up here, though, couldn't I? Steve, yeah, son. Hold on. You guys will see what I mean here in a moment. Here, check it. Oh, come on, man. Stay over there where you belong. Goodness gracious. Here, check it. There it is. That's how you do it. Uh, <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go over here. Grab all that. We're gonna go back over this way. Boom. Beautiful. Alright, just come over here and we're gonna face these guys in person. I'm feeling feeling particularly particularly cocky today, you know? That's right. Tommy Bissick himself told me if you jump up and then throw it while you're going down, it'll go down. Beautiful. Amazing. Hard to believe how well this game is made or how simple a game it is. Maybe that makes it easier to make it well, though, if it's something. That makes sense. Websites are that way. A lot easier to make a good website than a simple one. Worry about too much intricacies. I used to make websites, so. You know, I know. I know. I know, boys. I know what it takes. Alright. Uh, I didn't want to tell you since I want you to have the same experience. Oh, okay. But you're not going to remember until then. The fourth stage in Sonic 3 Carnival Night Zone, you come across. Come across this spinning barrel of death and you're locked in this room with no way out. You can't even fly up his tails. Well, that's crazy. Also, that was a little weird one. Can anyone else notice the odd shape that had? I didn't notice when I was a kid, but I'm kind of noticing now a little bit. I'm kind of noticing. Oh, we got him. Good for us. Okay. We're doing great on stage three now, even though earlier we sucked. Suck no more, it's kinda nice. Imagine not sucking, right? I'm kinda sucking right now, hold on. Hold up, I'm gonna get him, boys. You should wait and see. Yeah. Nope. Not work. I don't think it's going to either. I almost died. That guy is hard. That guy's in a weird position to try and get him. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he's, he's tricky. Very tricky to get a fellow like that. Goodbye. Yeah, 
this is long enough distance. Just get him without activating him. Nice. Is it just me or does the yellow bead go a little further? I think that's just my imagination, honestly. Me, what's down here? Oh, you know what? You know what ended up being down here, guys? Yo, mom. Okay, I think we're actually supposed to go down, which means makes me think there's bon more bonuses up top. So I think we're gonna keep going up top for a second. Over to where that rover guy was. gems. I was afraid of that. I'm out. I'm out, homie. Nope. 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 If I can just keep them out of range, then I'm fine. But if they get too close to me, not so good no more. Oh, we gotta do that same thing here, don't we? Defense. Welcome to the stream, dude. It says Tommy Bissick is one talented programmer. He is, isn't he? I mean, you know, he still does programming for a living, believe it or not. He makes uh, Android apps. It's pretty cool. So, but yeah, I mean, for a game that came out in 2004, Grace is the stink. You know what I'm saying? Goodness gracious. Stupid thing keeps messing me the stink up. I think I'm good for a second. Yeah, I'm good. I'll tell you what I am gonna do. Let's do that. Nice. Nice. Once more. Boom. Beautiful. Got some of my health back, so. Classy. Probably not the second one, really. Let's see if I can get... Hold on. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted to find out. Come on, Mr. Hinchbot. Goodbye, Mr. Hinchbot. Oh! You cheeky little stinker. Alright, we got him. Still got half my health, too, if you can believe it. Okay, there's some gems up there. Has some gems. <laughs> uh, that was not very cash money joke. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Still got half our health. I keep losing it every time I get it back. Just going through the game perpetually with half our health. There we go. 
bunch of those guys now. Man, he's like instantly shoots those out at me. Ozymandias81 YouTube channel. Welcome, dude. He says, hi, Kess. Ozymandias here. Just watching some gameplay since I was curious about this game. I suggest soon to play Arthurian Legends. If you didn't yet. Arthurian... Arthurian Legends. I'll try to remember to put that on my list, dude, unless you want to relieve... Bleh. Unless you want to leave me a reminder on my Discord tab. I have a suggestions channel for people to put stuff like that so I can remember to write it down. That sounds cool, though. I'll have to check that out. But yeah, I'm glad you glad you checked out Glace. I played this game as a kid. It was like one of my favorite childhood games, so it's pretty sweet. So I'm glad you decided to check it out. It's definitely one that's worth checking out, you know? Um, but yeah, I'll check out Arthurian Legends. Thanks for the uh, recommendation, dude. Anyway. Hold up, let's go. There we go. Sweet. Nice. Oh, he saw me. Big sad. Chicken ward. Yeah, ACDC came out with the new album. I was genuinely surprised. I was like, well, that's cool. How cool they're still making stuff, right? So, oh my gosh, I can't get a second jump on this to save my life. I just can't. What the hell? I am, I am sucking right now. Hold on. I, don't know what the is. I know what the. No, I don't. I don't know what the problem is. Hold on. Let's try this again. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do, guys. Check it. No jumping this time. Just run. Okay, that was not the solution at all. Here's the solution. Oh, are you beeping kidding me? Oh, oh, never mind. Never mind. I did it. I did it. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're just gonna. We're just gonna just not even talk about the rest of what happened. Everyone, just put that out of your mind. Okay. Boom. Beautiful. There you go. Stage complete. Okay. Warning. A lot of warnings. We're here in our in our birthplace. Oh! <laughs> You've come a long way, but it looks like this is the end of the line. Once I have all four magic beads, the universe shall bend to my everyday desire. Prepare to be squashed. Well, this is gonna suck in and oh! Oh, he meant that literally. Oh. I need to, I need to get out of here then, I'm gonna take it. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go up here now. What 
the hell? Just chilling for a second, my health back. I guess I gotta go back there, down there and fight that little thing they're in. Tommy V, welcome. He says it's true. I am a great kicker and finisher. Glad to hear that. Wish their front man, Dave Mustaine, is actually getting soft hands for speaking the cure anymore. Uh, right, ACDC come with the new album? Yeah, last year. Uh, Shot in the Dark, I think it's called. Thanks to combat, self defense. Actually, no, Shot in the Dark is just one of the songs. I don't know what it's called, it doesn't matter. Okay. Let's continue. There it is, I see it. Oh, it's down the ground, though. Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna go down here and destroy it. Oh, hell. Are you serious, dude? Oh, they moved. They left. significant damage there, and then got significantly damaged, so I guess that works then. I'm gonna try to outrun that little green thing that keeps sending towards me. Where, is, where are these guys? Oh, there they are. They're up there. They're up top. Oh, let's wait. Get our health back. There you go. Green thing 
do, you know? Oh, you stupid thief. Dang nabbit boys, pull yourself together, dude. At least we can kind of almost perpetually keep ourselves up in the air with those yellow, char you know, electro charge things. Oh yeah, that mega death you're talking about. Mega death. So, platformers your favorite genre? I didn't know that genre. It's definitely the genre I played the most growing up, that's for sure. I don't know if I'd call it my favorite. I don't think I would. I'd call it one I definitely like, though. I like platformers a lot. Which is weird because I don't play very many of them. <laughs> Alright, I think my health's almost back enough for me to continue fighting. I have to go down on the ground, aren't I? Yeah, I think they went down on the ground. Yeah, there they are. Oh, actually, I, I did something. That's good. What else did I do? I don't know. Hold up. you gotta say now oh wow there's the fourth one that did not look like i thought it would the bead go get it dr frog wah, wah, wah. wait what happened what's happening 
Screen is going purple. Am I gonna transform into a beautiful swan? Yes. No, nothing happened. Oh no, he's got all four of them now. <laughs> Big deal. It doesn't matter what he's got. He's still a scared, worthless little blob. Isn't that right, Glace? What? What are you gonna do now? Wait, what are you doing? No, put me down. <laughs> Let me out of here. See how you like it, Morin. Hey, this thing's pretty roomy. Ah, bye-bye. So long, loser. Best game of all time is Sonic 3. No one can change my mind. Also, the link. Link to this, it's down in the description, homie. All right. Oh, and now I, now I can fly. I've got all four beads. I can just fly through space. Okay, if you think this is unrealistic, then you gotta go see Star Wars. Go watch Star Wars The Last Jedi. You'll see anybody can just fly through space like Superman. Right? We can fly through space now because we won and got all the beads. Go back and help Essie rebuild. Oh, there we are. Falling down. Whee! <coughs> mm, excuse me. There's Essie! He got his home belt back. I can see some burnt marks, though. He sees me. Hey, Grace, you're back, and you got all the beads. How do you know, dude? You've saved us all. I knew you'd come through. One, two, three, and four. Thank you so much. Wow, you must feel very good now that this is all over. Yep. Or no? Do I not? Grace, where are you going? Where am I going? Oh, you don't have anywhere to go, do you? <laughs> Not really. Kind of all I've known in the brief four hours I've been alive. Hmm. Well, you can stay here with me, of course. Well, how sweet. Oh, I got to smile now. Yeah, I could really use a brave purple friend around here. Besides, it looks like I'll be needing help to protect these beads. Come on, Quace. Yay, now we have a home. We can go inside and eat some honey. By the way, whatever happened, whatever happened to those two scientists? Oh, they're back in the mountains again. Fun, fun. What is this? Where are we? How do you not know where you were? You were there earlier with your rocket. Right? Same place? Maybe not. It looks like we crashed. I can see that, you nitwit. How am I going to dominate the galaxy if I'm stuck on some stinking snowy rock? Oh, it's a baby penguin. Hey, look, a penguin. Penguins are the coolest. Here, Pingy Pingy. <laughs> well, he looks happy. Dr. Frog, stop chasing penguins and get back here. Curse that purple blob. Uh, that makes me so happy. Oh, another penguin! Oh, it's a girl. Oh, there's a there's a boy one. I think he's surrounded. <laughs> ah! Mama, Dr. Slag. Oh, there's more. Oh! Oh my gosh! That is so perfect. <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> Alrighty, guys. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was Glace. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Shout out to Tommy Visick for making this really cool game. Programming and project planning. Who did that? It was also Tommy Visek. Art and design. Brandon Knox. Sweet. And the music was by. Art House Mom. No, I'm Zachary Chavez. Chavez. Sweet.
David Coots. I've, that name sounds familiar. Haven't I heard that before? Do some additional testing. Da da da. So yeah, guys, that was Quace. I really hope you all enjoyed. Thank you very much for tuning the stream. We've been streaming for four hours. It took us about four hours to finish this game. Hisham Shazan says, "Hey, hey, Hisham, welcome, dude. Long time no see." You chance says, "Hey, Cash, do you like RPG adventure games? If you do, check Dauntless." I do like RPGs, first of all, you chant, and I'm familiar with Dauntless. I've seen it, so we'll check that out one of these days. Alrighty, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and skip through the credits, and uh, we can now unlock the Cactus Glace. So maybe I'll make an upcoming video showing, uh, showing all the different specials out after we unlock them. But for now, that's going to be it for the full walkthrough of Glace. I really hope you all enjoyed it. Please do leave a big old like on the stream if you did. Big special thank you and shout out to our T-Squad Plus members who keep us funded and going on a monthly basis. Big thank you to Quinn, Alpha Nerd, K Plague Doc, Alien Force, Regular Gray, Tropical Dark, Russian Spy, Matthias, and Steve Goho. Thank you guys so much for your support. I appreciate you, and you help make the dream possible. I guess I can change my resolution back to what it's <laughs> to what it's supposed to be now that I'm done with that game. Tommy B says, good job, you finished it. Yes, thank you so much for making that game, Tommy. You really touched my childhood in a cool way. And I'm glad I got to do it. Hisham says, whoa, I missed you. I'm glad you did, dude. I missed having you around. You gotta start coming to streams again. We're almost done with Maximum Doom. You remember that? Anyway, guys, thank you all again for coming to today's stream. We are going to be doing a movie in our Discord server in a couple of hours, so join for that. We'll be doing Maximum Doom on Monday. be starting on the T levels, so I'll definitely have to have some more tea. <laughs> Anyway, thank you all again for being here. Until next time, I've been your host, Kess Gaming, and I will see you all at the top.